Hey gamers, welcome in. New stream. I know it's been a little bit, I'm sorry. I've been busy editing the video that I put out, and additionally, I need like a day after. Let me tell you, chat. Ruined. What up, Jonathan Stone? Ruined my sleep schedule. <laughs> Absolutely destroyed it. These numbers keep getting more. Oh, also blessed new stream. Stream. Technically, I did stream. Technically, I did stream. Hello, like John two days ago. Stone, I missed you. I miss you too. Two kisses. I did stream. If you didn't know, I streamed on my friend's channel. Oh my god, my my. Okay. For some reason, I'm having static interference. I just grabbed to move my mic, and it just cut out my my monitor. So we're just gonna we're just not gonna touch it. We just won't touch it anymore. Anyways, welcome in. Hope we're doing well. We got a long day of gaming planned. I will say that. A whole bunch of stuff, and by a whole bunch of stuff, whole one thing that we're doing. But this thing is something that I feel like a lot of people don't know about. And I'm really excited to show you. Because I've been sitting on this for like, I don't know, like a month. Maybe a month. Mm, like, I don't think it can statistically be, or like numerically be a month and a half. Uh, maybe. Just barely be a month and a half, but besides the point. So, today, chat, we are going to be doing a catch em all, but it is additionally a Professor Oak, which I guess is really just a Professor Oak when you really think about it, because it's only going to be one section. But, today, chat, we are going to be playing Scarlet and Violet, as you can see by the stream title. Or not the stream title, but the, the game directory. I don't even know what I'm doing, chat. I'm just gaming. We're going to be playing Scarlet and Violet. This will be is a video. This crusty crab? No, this is gaming. Let me bring you on over. So here's one thing, chat. In my head, let me change the music real quick. Can't play that. That doesn't work. That, I just played that. Beautiful. So here's the thing. Um, I was like, okay, if I'm gonna play on this, because if you didn't know, this happened a while back when the Indigo disc came out. Um, <laughs> My save files for my Professor Oak account got deleted for both Scarlet and Violet. So today we're gonna partially fix that. Now here is my mindset, is I wanted to play Scarlet because I was playing through recently on Violet. I don't know where the game card is. I have no idea where that is, so we're... <laughs> and I don't really feel like buying the game again. I looked everywhere, I promise you. I looked everywhere. I have like, there's only like three places I could be. And they're just so teeny tiny. Why don't we have discs? Why don't we? Why don't we, remember the PSP? At least though, it was a tiny disc, but at least it was a disc that you could put in a handheld console. Did I look at the Ultra Sun and Moonbox? Yes. I did. And I'm glad you brought that up. Cause I was like, surely it's in the Ultra Sun and Moon 2 box. It has to be. No. Once again, I've been scammed into looking at Mystery Dungeon DX. So. <sighs> Here we are. Also, I need to check one thing before we start. Okay, we're good. Can you check where you last put it? Guys. I'm getting mad. I'm not actually. Okay, uh, I think we're gonna do... Living decks? I heard, I, I swear you had four double packs when the game came out. I do actually, I just don't know where they are. <laughs> I do. You're not wrong. Not even a little bit. I did give a lot of copies away, but a lot of those were digital. That's the thing. Yeah, I, I bought it to get the game as early as possible. I bought it from every single retailer I could buy it from. So I ended up buying like five copies, which let's be real, it's not every retailer, but besides the point. <clears throat> so, um, you know, I think we're just gonna, no music for the time being. We must enjoy this intro. How, what, what was the last time you saw this intro chat? Be honest. It's been a hot minute, I think we can all say. Um. I'm just gonna name myself me. You know, you know how it goes.
All right, chat, feel free to say hello, because it is the beginning of this little venture that we're going on. Can I, like, move my... Oh, I can change all my stuff. Okay, okay, okay. You know, we're changing everything today, chat. We're switching it up. We're getting crazy. We're getting wacky. So, I also need one more thing. A pen, so I can write these things down as I do it. Okay, let's find some... Let's find... No. <laughs> no. Okay, let's find some hairstyles for me. Oh, you so you don't get the DLC hairstyles, which is interesting. What even... I don't think I've ever seen that hairstyle in my life. That is all, taking all the hair just in the, like the, what is it, the crown? And just shoving it forward. You only have hair right in the back and just, it's the longest hair ever. That's my hairstyle IRL? No. It, like, it's all forward. Yeah, mine's like, kind of like to the side and stuff like that. It's, it's kind of everywhere if I'm being honest. I've used tussle crops so many times because that is like my hair. Pretty much. Are we just doing standard shortcut chat? It's kind of lame, isn't it? But maybe if we no, you know what? We'll do we'll do the standard, but we'll do a different hair color. No. <laughs> yeah, what color hair should I have, chat? Blue looks kind of goofy. I'm not gonna lie. Purple hair, this is actually not that bad. I like like the lighter, you know what I mean? I like the lighter ones. I think like that is just terrifying, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Silver? What's the difference from, what was the other one, white? Sorry, <laughs> sorry. Light denim blue, jean hair. Chad, hear me out, what if we had jean hair? Let me cook Jer. Yeah, we got the Jer, baby. Okay. All right. Uh, and I, can, I can change like my face and stuff like that, right? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. We're just going to randomize it here. Seven. Is that different? Oh. <laughs> no, no, it's, it's all kind of coming back to me. Chat, what color are my eyes? What color are my eyes? Multicolor swirl? That's, ooh, that's, I don't like that. Total dark, that's, I think, even scarier. Wait, I kinda like this one. I what is that? I can't even see it. Blue gray. It's not bad either. Yo, maybe we should just be jeans. What's the closest color to jeans that we can do? <laughs> I mean, those are those are like blue jeans. We're going for the full jean fit, chat. No. Yeah, I think that's what it is. Light blue. Jeans. Eyelashes. No. <laughs> it's okay. Door. Eyelash color. I think we match, right? That's just kind of like what you do. Ignore me in 2021. Um, blue. Oh, this is eyelash color. Big G. You know, that's going to be black. Sorry, chat. Eyebrows. <laughs> you can't even see him. It does not matter. But what color? I meant the eyebrows. Blue. Jean the jeans man with yeah jays and jai lashes. Jai lashes. No jai lashes. That's the only exception. That's where I put my foot down. Yippee. M mouth. I want mouth seven. Can I take I'm just gonna guess what mouth seven looks like. Hey, that wasn't far off. That, it was a little you, let's just run it back. Let's just run it back. This is what I did. You can see, you can see the small difference. I 
feel like we we've reached the point, chat. We just need a slider. We just need a slider because th that's all that changed is the mouth just went went from here to here. No, <laughs> not doing the uwu face. Like that is a guarantee. No uwu faces here. These are all the Hello, same Mr. face. Stone, good morning. They're all the same mouth. It, it, if anything, the uwu face comes up twice. It, what number is this? That's that's 14. 14 and 4 are the exact same thing. Except I have lower definition on my lips. That looks like I'm giving kisses. Really bad ones. Perfect. No lipstick. Sorry, chat. No beauty spots. Beauty spots six, six though, is the best. Sorry, no, 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 no. Freckles? No. You know, some people get freckles tattooed on themselves. Which I find is insane. Now I'm talking henna, I'm talking like actually getting it tattooed on your face. So chat, you may be wondering, John, you've done so much in Scarlet and Violet. Why are you here? I don't know, guys. I'm just here. No, we have a, a plan today. And listen, I did a little bit of experimentation. But for the purpose of this, we're just going to pretend like I don't know. But I will say I do not know to a certain extent. But this is related to the DLC chat. Because today, we are going to be taking on the DLC. However, we are going to be seeing how far we can go in the game without getting a single badge. And yes, that includes all the Pokemon we can catch. So in a way, this is a Professor Oak. We are going to try and see how many Pokemon we can get before doing any of the badges. We're not going to go through because I've already done that before. But here's the thing. We're going to try and complete as met as much of the DLCs as we can before we go and take on the first badge, and that's the end of the video. This will take a little bit, presumably. And Riz. We will be having a lot of Riz in this stream. I would step on Pommy. Wait, is that Pomo? I think that was Pomo. I take it back. Love Pomo. I did forget how long the intro is, so just bear with me. <laughs> Does the DLC 1 mask count as badges? No. They do not. Goo. And so when I say it's going to be Professor Oak, just know that that term is going to be loose. It's going to be loose. But I still think that this is going to be fun. Truly, I think this is going to be very fun. Oh. Oh. Oh my god, he has eyes. Hey, let me read some subs. Uh, Melissa, thanks for the 42 months. Insane. Pro Fox, thanks for the eight months. Thank you. Um, Jellitic, thank you for the five months. Felix, thank you for the 20 months. Kappa, thanks for the six. This is so loud. This is so loud. I know I've said this, I've beaten this phrase into death, but Game Freak does not know how to mix audio at all. <laughs> it's either... Ah! Ah! There's no in-between. Okay, we're back up. I fixed it. Felix, thanks for the 20 months. Kappa, thanks for the six months. Beth, thank you for the 41 months. Crazy. Also, thanks for stopping into the stream. If you guys stopped into the Dylan stream, I really appreciate it. I played uh, Black 2 Nuzlocke and did awful. But to be fair, I mostly got Dragon Rage the entire time. And I cheated. And hacked. And went to jail. King Dom of Dirt. 
What a fire name. Thanks to the Prime. How much dirt do you own to be the king of dirt? Oh, Kingdom of Dirt. I thought your name was Dom. <laughs> I thought your name was King Dom and you had just a lot of dirt? My bad. My bad. You know what? If that isn't how it's supposed to be, I would change that. Kingdom of Dirt is... That just sounds gross. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm not going to lie to you. Straight up, brother. But hey, I appreciate the Prime. Ultra, thanks for the Prime as well. Um, United, thank you for the Prime. Tim, thanks for the Prime. Ludo, thanks for the 43 months. Ludo, that's way too much. S stop. Okay, you can keep going. It's fine. Okay. Um, auto save. We're going to keep that off for right now. Skip cutscenes. Chat, do we care about cutscenes? Just being honest. Do we really care about cutscenes at this point in time? You do. Lore. <laughs> I've poisoned you. I've poisoned your minds. This is not the Sun and Moon Nuzlocke chat. Jake, thanks for the Prime. Um, Kong, thanks for the Prime. Hopefully I said that right. Pa uh, Nerd Pants, thanks for the 18 months. Brig, thanks for the 16 months. Garrett, thanks for the 20. I do have to do push-ups, that's true. Snorlax, thanks for the 4 months. Taco Moon, thanks for the 2 months. This fit is atrocious. I dare I say, I love this game. Don't get me wrong, chat. This has probably the worst fit, like intro fit out of any, any Pokemon game. Am I gonna play Power World? I know everybody's playing it. One, I'm kind of busy. Two, I don't, I don't really care. Maybe I sound quirky doing that. I just don't really care to play it. And I know, I know, before you say it, I'm aware, chat. I'm aware of all the controversy the game has. I'm aware. Don't think we need to go over it. <laughs> That's also part of it. That is definitely also part of it because I don't want to be playing a game and the entire time people are like, did you know their company is involved with AI? Were you aware of the asset comparisons, John? Have you seen what's on Twitter? John, I don't like guns. I thought this was a Christian stream. That's the one I'm scared of the most, because I have no answer for that. And listen, I know, I know you guys have been saying, John, you've always, you've always wanted Pokemon to have guns. You said that things would get solved a lot faster. And I know. And that is really, truly my out. That Johnston is, dummy. it's meant for me. It's meant for me. But I'm also a busy boy. Have you seen Twitter? Uh, I will say, though. <laughs> okay, you wrote, yeah, are you happy? You wrote me into it, chat. You made me talk about it! No, no, I'm above that. I'm above that. But you got me started! <laughs> so CJ, thanks for the four months. Anonymous, thanks for giving a sub to ban Ludicolo. That's type that's what we're looking for. Those are the chatters I'm looking for. We love that. The fact that that's also an account is crazy. You've haters, Ludo. <laughs> Yeah, I was gonna say it's just through you have haters just being a mod in my stream, but you also stream, so maybe you actually just have haters in your stream. What are your thoughts on that? It's a tough pill to swallow. Ryan, thanks for gifting a sub. Uh, Nay, thank you for the prime as well. Lip, thank you for the prime. Radiant Adventures, thanks for the prime. So many primes. Chad, did you like the new video I put out? I know you guys are part of it, so that wasn't really a surprise that I was putting it out, but. A lot wicked. I watched it. <laughs> that wasn't a positive or a negative. You know what? I like that. That's what I like to hear. Yeah, I, I, I tried. So every single video that I put out, I try to make it like more visually entertaining. And I added more sounds like and wom wom. I think that really added to it. We got a phone, guys. Who are we calling first? I'm gonna call Obama. <laughs> Brr. 
No help it come. Your call has been forwarded to an automated voice messaging system. I'm never talking to Obama again. That was the worst bit of the year. That was the worst bit. We've done it, chat. Obama location found. Yeah, tra trace his IP through his phone. I like how you can't run until they're like, now you can run. Like at this sign, I'm pretty sure you can start running. They're like, oh yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> how could I forget? I'm gonna grab this item over here, and if it's a potion, you guys all have to smile. Because you just love how smart I am. I was so confident, too. I was so confident. I legit thought it was a potion. I'm not even, that wasn't even a meme. I genuinely thought it was a potion. <laughs> I thought I cooked, Chad. I really did. Ugly! Ugly! Yes! Stupid! Yes! Fat! Yeah! And kind of stupid. Let's be really. Fukuoka got it all. Now I will say, this next part doesn't really matter, but I'm gonna let you vote. Hey, pals! That's what I think she sounds like. That's what he sounds like. We're having fun here. Oh, true. Yeah. You guys do raise a great point. No, don't eat. That's so gross. That actually will make you very sick, Fukuko. Fukuko will die, so don't pick Fukuko. Please. Do you want a Pokemon to die? Is it randomized? Yep. It is. You caught me. Oh, I got randomized to the Pokemon you already have? What are the odds of that, guys? That's so bad. Okay, so, time has come. You guys get to vote for our starter. Now, keep in mind, um... The only thing that this Pokemon's gonna do is really just help us in the beginning of the game. So, and we can also catch more Pokemon along the way as we're going through like the initial stuff up to the school. And that'll be our, just like our starting gang of pals. But you guys can pick between these three little monsters. There's also no music, which is crazy. Uh, Sprigatito? I missed my chance to say thank you for the gifted at the end of your last stream. So thank you, John Johnston. Yay, also is the door fixed? Oh, yeah, yeah. No, Chad, I fixed it. Okay, so let me just explain to you what happened. Thank you for the five, by the way. Um, so if you want rewatch it, what ended up happening is the bottom half of the door. If you don't know, I dunked. I dunked in my office. And I would also just like to know one side thing. Quaxley is made of jeans. That's in the lore. So if you didn't know that, that may influence your opinion. Quaxley is blue, made of jeans. It's it's a juck. Jean duck. Just want to throw that out there. Anyways, so I ran into the door, and when I fell. The, I, I slammed onto the bottom of the door and I hit it so hard that I not only broke the doorknob on the door, but I bent the entirety of the bottom part of the door in. So half of the door was in and the other half of the door was normally in frame. Uh, so what I had to do was I had to entirely remove the, 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 what's the thing where the door where you open it? What's that thing called? What, why, why, why is my, my, no, not the hinge, Chad, the, what is that called? What is, why, why is my brain, why is my brain, it's a door, it's a doorknob. Okay, so yes, yeah, so I was playing with my knob, and I was trying to take it off, and so when I, when I, 
I was like, eh. And then, so it came off. And then in the middle, they have a piece where you have the, you have the, you have the, like the bar. So it locks the door and that was stuck out and it was angled. So the door was broken. I was like, oh. And so I had to remove all of it and I had to push on the door and go. And then it came out. And then it was fixed. But now the door is kind of bent. <laughs> so. Where Pikachu? Oh, don't bring him up. Don't bring him up. Chaz voted and they said, Quaxley, the Gene Duck, has been selected. You know what's crazy, chat? You chose that last time. <laughs> you chose this Pokemon last time I played through the game. <laughs> we love that. Um, what do I name Quaxley? Oops. <gasps> no, don't look at that. What do I name Quaxley? Why is why is this not moving? <laughs> I'm gonna be honest, chat. Juck sounds like a slur. Like it just sounds it just doesn't sound like a good name. Can we just name him Jeans because it's cute? <laughs> I just don't want to find out in the future. Like, can you believe what John said and put it in a video? <laughs> um, Dean, because he's a gene duck. Knob is probably banned. I name it Gene, because Gene's also a name. I had an Aunt Jean. And you would not believe, chat, they both had the, the most, like, unique collection of names. Like, I've never met anybody else named Jean. I had an aunt named Jean, and my uncle's name was Ferb. Not even, that's not even a meme. I do not, I've not seen them in, like, 15 years. But I have an Aunt Jean and Uncle Ferb. Just want to share that information with you. My name is Gene. Do you do you know anybody by chance named? Oh! Why is there no music? Why do I not remember this? Where am I? Oh, by the way, I haven't had uh I guess it's almost one, so I was gonna say I haven't had breakfast. I also have not had lunch. But let me tell you, chat. Your boy found something. He put himself on game, and I'm going to put it onto you. Okay, so if you didn't know, I, I purchased something that I was, I was very proud of. Your boy bought, mm, ooh, the coolest piece of kitchen machinery you could possibly own. A Ninja Creamy. If you don't know what a Ninja Creamy is, you basically just freeze... Like, you could put, like, cocoa powder and milk, and you put it in the freezer, and then you put it in the machine, boom, ice cream. You're becoming a mother? No, if anything, I'm becoming a father. Because don't dads just buy a bunch of, like, tools and stuff? I'm actually so confused. Why is there not music? Why do I not remember this being dead silent? Grills? Yeah, I have a grill. Yeah, that's so weird. Is that a bug? Because it truly just feels like hollow. <laughs> but anyways, so I, I saw a YouTube short. You can make fun of me. But I saw a YouTube short. And in the YouTube short, this guy was like, for breakfast, I had ice cream. Which you're probably thinking, ooh, that's super weird. But no. This is what I had. And he's like, I just had two cups of fruit and Greek yogurt. And it turns it into ice cream. And I was like, there's no way that that's true. Because usually you have to prepare them, right? And he's like, no, just frozen fruit and just uh, like two-thirds of a cup of Greek yogurt. Put it in there. Boom. Turns into ice cream. Chat. I was blown away. 
I was blown away. And I'm making it. I'm making it today. The only downside of Ninja Creamy is that it's like four minutes of Aah! Other than that, it's pretty cool. Can you put meat in it? I tried and it really hurt. Raven, thanks for the prime. Skinny, thanks for the 11 months. Surely you aren't accusing this game of having a bug? Nope. <laughs> no, I'm not. Can you make ice cream with a regular blender? All right, guys, look at me. I'm I'm financially smart, and I don't make irresponsible decisions. Chat, I'm buying three more just to spite you. And I'm going to have so much cream in my house. No, but seriously, it is it is genuinely such a sick tool. Hold on one second. One second. What was my time? How fast was that? How fast was that actually one second? There'll be so much cream in your house, you'll have a hard time swallowing it all. Nice. So, one thing I'd like to know, Chad, because I streamed on Dylan's channel, I would like to know, I did announce that I was streaming Johnston on it. Johnston. You, <laughs> it was very obvious when my chatters were in Dylan's stream. Aside from like, like I saw Bath, I saw Storm in the chat because their names are their names on YouTube as they are on YouTube. But, Chat, I'm not gonna lie to you, I did see quite a few people say come, which is not something that's said in Dylan's chat. <laughs> I was like, there they are. There they are, baby. <laughs> it's a night and day. <clears throat> sandwich for mom. What was in the sandwich? Wait, it must have been Urban Mystica, right? How did she get Herba Mystica? Imagine she has like a basement with like a like a secret latch basement at mom's house and Cabo Poco and it's just filled with like like a farm. <laughs> like an Herba Mystica farm and the police come and they arrest her. New epilogue DLC. Mom, what is this? I had to make money somehow. I live on the water. You think property taxes pay themselves? No! She's a right MILF, not gonna lie. That was the most British sentence I've ever read in my life. <laughs> The only thing you didn't say was, she's a fit bird. I've had some of my British friends say that to me in public. And I was like, it's like, what are you saying to me? I remember one time we, we were out, I forget who it was. We were out in public uh, it, it, at like uh, an arcade. And they're like this, like there was a, a, a person that they found attractive. And they're like, yeah, she's a fit bird. And I was like, what does that even mean? You went out? Yep. Yep. Chad, do I catch this or we just we kill it? We blow it up. We have set. Why do we have seven balls? Kill. Oh, sorry. Jeez. Sorry. Because <laughs> we need a couple members. We need a couple. You want to read what I say when they're cringe? Well, guys, stop being cringe.
We do need... We do need something to add to our team. Because we do have some battles that we have to do. You're beating this game before? This is actually... No, this is a blind playthrough. <laughs> Chat, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to read out this username. I'm going to read out this username. I just want you to know that I didn't come up with this username. I'm going to get this rare candy right here. Hack City. Welcome to Hack City, where I predict all items. This one right here, coming up here. Potion. This one, Pokeball. No, 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 hold on, hold on, I meant this one, I meant this one! I meant this one! <sighs> Anyways, uh, Ronnie Rimjob, thanks for the prime. It's gonna be a long stream. This is gonna be a really long stream chat. Dual Dan, thanks for the 100 bits. <laughs> it's all, why, why do we all have like these abbreviated? It's like <laughs> name, occupation, Dan Doodles, Ronnie. Ronnie gets to work. Uh, sorry, I'm late to the stream. First time watcher, what's the next big project? You're watching it right now, Dan. Get doodling. Take your notes. Rand, thanks for the four months. Gyo, she says. Bethany, occupation, fun cake. You know, I probably should have asked this a long time ago. Beth, what what led you to your name? What drove you? Maybe we should have just ask the collective of all of you. What is uh where did your name come from? You are Bunt Cake. Okay. That's... <laughs> I feel like I've seen you before. <laughs> My mom came up with it. Okay. Oh! <gasps> I died! Credits. I'm Kate, which shortens to cat, and I bring the facts. Bars. That didn't really rhyme, but it felt like it did. You ever, you ever have those moments where it's like, it sounds like it rhymes, but it doesn't? I'm just talking. I'll make him eat the phone. How to make that noise? What? I- I studied ik ik chat. Chat, we're gonna stop right there. We're gonna listen. Number one rule, if you're gonna come to my chat, you don't say big words. I- it does not work for me. We strictly speak on a third grade reading level in my chat. Maybe a fourth if it's the weekend. We're, we're gonna speak only in caveman. I only want to see unga and maybe bunga in my chat. And if I catch a Pokemon, you just go ugh. You thought you knew funny usernames. Fondle and balls. Thanks for the eight months. He's glowing. Wow. I wonder where they got their name. <laughs> like playing with balls, Beth. Is that what you wanted me to say? Probably not. There he goes. Everybody wave bye. Oh, see ya. He's gone. Bye. Never saw him again. End of that lore. You know, if you really think about it, if we didn't follow 
Maridon into the cave to then lose to use all of his energy fighting Houndoom, this would have never been a problem. Like truly, we are just a detriment to Maridon's health. And then it's forced to for us to ride it for the entirety. If you design a quest where I need to follow an NPC and they move slower than my running speed but faster than my walk speed, you're banned from making video games for a year. Thank god I'm not making video games this year. Ride on what? Its name is Maride on. <clears throat> Cause you you ride on Mer. All right, chat, let me show you an exploit because based around that. So normally you're supposed to go up there, but if you go this way, the game freaks out because <laughs> it's like, no, you're going faster, but you're going slower too. Stop doing that. Cut that out. Cut that out. <laughs> Chad, what are some gene based Pokemon we can catch up until the school? We need at least two more gene members. Three, sorry, we need three. We need four Pokemon. Jolts. Yeah, but it would have to be shiny, wouldn't it? I guess what to, what determines a gene Pokemon? Is it a Pokemon that's blue and resembles genes, or is it internally it resembles genes? Or is it both? Or either? Yeah, it's Zuril. Nightmare, thanks for the Prime. Outcast, thanks for the 16 months. You think Pokemon could do an MMO? Like, would it be worth their time, monetarily? Cause think about it, like you could do one that they're like, and I'm not, I'm not trying to promote it, but at the end of the day, if they're gonna do one, they're gonna want to make it profitable year after year, so they don't have to worry about people buying another copy of it, right? They could do in-game transactions. And doodle Dan because in class, I once asked if I could doodle. Not sure why I didn't say draw like I normally do, and a bunch of jocks called me Doodle Dan, and it just stuck. It's crazy. You got bullied into making a username. <laughs> That's absolutely nuts. Except 400 bits. I, I, I can imagine you're at school on like, in the middle of your, your tech, whatever tech class you're doing, and you're like, oh man, I, I don't know what to make my username. And a bunch of jocks come over, they're like, hey dork. <laughs> Why don't you name yourself Doodle Dan, dude? Nah, we'll do it. No, get out of here. We're gonna type it for you. Yeah, you're Doodle Dan now. Catch a Gene Mo. Yeah, I'll have to look that one up. I don't really know what that is. <laughs> Actual footage. One of the funniest moments I had in the computer class is uh, we were all working on, I guess it, uh, technically I was in a health class, but we were able to go into the, the library to go on the computers to sometimes do work. And one of the kids that was in my class, he was working on a project. And he's like, I'm going to go to the bathroom. And in my head, I don't know why in the moment I was bored and I was like, you know what? I'm going to guess his password. And no joke, chat, I got it right. Which, like, getting anybody's password right is a pretty insane feat. 
His password, I would like to know my password, was was pretty solid. It was pretty like you you could not if you knew everything about me, there's no way you could pull that one out. My password, Pikachu25. His password, however, was a lot harder. A lot more difficult. His password was quite literally Pat. P-A-T. You want to guess <laughs> what this person's name was? Pat. <laughs> yeah. The irony of this is that that I, I don't keep up to tabs with Pat very much, but uh, he is a very smart technical man. And so whenever I think about like all the technical achievements he's made, <laughs> I remember that moment. I'm like, you know what? Everybody, everybody has a lapse in judgment every once in a while. Hope it was it Patters? Yes, chat. Yes. We went to school together. We're almost done, chat. And by almost done, we're not. The intro's pretty long, but listen. This is a really intense battle, and it's really cool. You're gonna love it. Get ready. Yeen. In the next house I get, chat, I'm gonna have Jairs. Gene Stairs. Not to be confused with Gene Chairs. I know this the naming convention is a little bit complicated, but um, that's the game plan. I've seen photographs of it, and it's just something about it. What if he hasn't changed his password since? Well, it is his school computer, and if he was still going to school at the age of 27... I think there's a lot more issues than a password going on. You should also have a JAT. Is that a Gene Giat? It's probably that. Gene Cat? Oh! Why would my mind go there? Joe, when you think of jeans, what do you think of? Butts and jeans. Hey, if I decline this lighthouse, I'm ending stream. I hate climbing. I'm afraid of heights. Goodbye. See you guys later. See you guys next stream. We know I'm happy, guys. This cutscene, I know sometimes I, I dog on Pokemon video game, but this is one of those ones where it, they, they must have known. Isn't it awesome what you can see from here? Chad, isn't it awesome? <laughs> isn't that awesome? <laughs> no, look at guys. Come on, look at it. Look at all that. Six! Six trees! Last time it was four! We love it! It is one of those things, um, it does beg the question, why don't they do them the same way like Breath of the Wild did them? Because if you didn't know, Breath of the Wild, the, the way that it did, um, it like rendered trees, because obviously there was significantly more in that game, so there's no way that 
on the Switch even. They could render all of that like in real time. So basically, once you got far enough away, so think of all those trees over there, they would be basically just a picture, like a PNG of a tree. And the closer you get, the more real 3D tree it would look. But instead, in this game, it's just all 3D tree. All right, chat, we need to find some gene members. Is this gene member number one? I believe it is, is it not? I do also need names for all these little creatures. Get a Riolu? Where would I even get that in this area? Yeah, I'm not naming it Jazuril. Let's cook on that a little bit longer. Okay. I'd like to know, chat, to my knowledge... Ooh, I kinda had to think that over. This isn't in the DLC, is it? Azurul isn't anywhere in the DLC. What do we name this? <clears throat> Jean Pants. Nice. Yeah, it is short. Man, if there only there was a like a type of shorts, like jeans that were short. Oh no, I didn't back up the Azuril fire his name was Azuril Jorts. <laughs> no! <sighs> That's not good. What are you looking at? You wish you had that name. Wait, Deerling's in the base game? Okay. Well, those are the things we learned. Those are the things we learned today. Anyways. Any other fellows? Oh. Oh. Is this a Gene member chat? Keep in mind, all this gene lore is probably going to disappear immediately. Jolts. If it's male, that might actually be good. <laughs> is this Power World? <laughs> I get it! What do you mean? Isn't that sexist? Yes, chat. That's what I meant. I hate female Pokemon. Ooh, don't get me started. Ooh, get me real mad. Jacksism. <laughs> Jacksism. Uh, Jolts. Jolts. No, don't add it to the block terms. It's it's fine. It's a popular game. People are going to ask about it. I wish you could see the gender before you encounter. Or it had a gender difference, so I knew if it was Gallade or not. Comfey is a jeans Pokemon because jeans are comfey. I'm, hot take. Jeans are the most uncomfortable pants you can wear. With the exception of like leather pants, which I have no frame of reference. Ladies, bikers. <laughs> Sorry to generalize. Ladies and bikers. I just always I think of like the typical 
like girl, like city girl going outfit. It's like leather pants, a white crop top or like cream crop top and like black boots. And bikers, I feel like that kind of goes without saying. There are two types of Johnstone viewers, ladies and bikers. Chad, type one if you're a lady, type two if you're a biker. You can't be a lady biker, I just want to clarify. Those are the rules, I don't, I don't make them. I just abide by them. Okay, uh, so we just need one more, one more member to add to our gene collection, and it has to be right here. We got Squovet, we've got Bird. There's something in the water. Psyduck. It's not really gene-like. Oh. Nah. Nah, it's not really gene-like. Oh, I thought you were a ball. My bad. You ever held a bird? Every summer I used to like grab birds. And? No, that's pretty much it. <laughs> Not fit birds. No, I, my mom would take me to go like, um, she would take me to a, like a nature reserve and we would do a thing called bird banding, which is like a way to, tr to like track birds. So you put like a little bracelet on its ankle as you like capture the birds. And then release them, obviously. Yeah, it's like an anklet. We took him to Sephora. <laughs> Pick your favorite. Oh, that's, oh no, that one's beautiful. How much is it? 70? No, okay, we'll put that back. Maybe next time, maybe next flight. Or not Sephora, what am I thinking of? It's not Sephora, what are you... <laughs> what am I thinking of? <laughs> What's the Sephora of jewelry, chat? Oh my! Pandora is what I meant, sorry. Not Sephora. I'm sorry, chat. I'm not a Sephora guy. I'm an Ulta guy. I want this co- Give me my coins. I want my coins. Coin. Oh! Oh. All right, we need one more chat. Please point out our next one. Coin. Oh! Oh! Chichirisu! Oh, no! <laughs> no! Oh, that's bad, guys. We killed him. Let's pound him. Your Pokemon aren't Digimon. Chat, write that down, please. I'm gonna forget. Danny! Big Dan! Dan is. Ah! That's bad. Fine. Ball.
Bingo. What do we name this? Jajirisu really does not roll off the tongue, but neither does Pachirisu. Uh, bubble beam over... It does really not matter. Patch of jeans, Sue. <laughs> Never cook ever again. I had two pounds more than I thought I did get subbed nerd crabs. Crabs. From next to the 40 months. K Pang with next to the 31. Hey Alexa, play Never Gonna Give You Up by Rick Astley. Stop! Whew, that was close. Why, Nick Crab? You didn't put it in parentheses. All sound effects are in parentheses. I think. Or it's or it's the, the colon. What do I name this thing? <laughs> I also have to do the push ups. I keep forgetting to do the push ups. Mmm. Absol pinch. Gene. Pants. That's what the heart said. The heart said Jean Pants 3. Now, we do have a battle after this. I will say, I'm pretty sure this is optional, so it does not matter in the slightest. However, we're winners here, not wieners. So let's game. Pope John Paul II. I don't think we would, we don't have enough characters for that. Additionally, I don't think he has anything to do with jeans. Oh, his name! Ah. Oh. We missed out on a crazy opportunity. All right. Door. Levi Strauss, no. We're done catching, our gene collection has been completed. We will find more members. However, the gene collection, done. Like this storm. Real. Wait, he takes it at $3. Kill William, thanks for the two months. Why? Why would you kill him? What did William do? What about Pachirisu like a patch? Brother, are you watching tomorrow? <laughs> You're watching the stream tomorrow. I appreciate the effort though. Wing attack? Is that good? What does that do? Blind playthrough, by the way. Pommy. Uh. Really, no answer for this. We get an apple named Apple Bottom Jeans. Believe it or not, chat, I do have to do that. It has to happen. Sailor Mako, thank you for the three months. Three months of tier one, I appreciate it. 
Not my favorite sailor, but hey. Still respect it. Thanks for the three. Who's my favorite sailor? Mars? Is there another option, chat? What's the exploit? We blow up Paldea. What happened to the car branded sweats yet? Are you talking about my range, my uh, my Land Rover pants? I wore those literally yesterday. No meme. Daytona. Daytona. Let's go away. Oh, I told you, I bought the Land Rover shirt to match. We're losing, by the way. Alex, 6 feet 11 months. Why is Palmy barking like a dog? Is it not a dog? What is it? A fake fan chat. Never once, and nor will I probably ever own a Land Rover. But I'm also wearing Carhartt, and never once have I. Oh, actually, that's not true. I was gonna say I've never worked on a job site. I have built a roof before. Once. And I was scared the whole time. A lot of rodents bark like frogs. Yeah. You're like the guy who doesn't, who wears band merch but doesn't listen to music. I'll never forget, I had my friend Dom when he was staying with me. He, I was wearing a Metallica shirt. And he's like, can you name five Metallica songs? Or he's like, have you heard of five Metallica songs? And I straight up silently opened up Spotify and just played four seconds of each Metallica song on like Spotify's top five Metallica songs. And I said, now I have. Yeah, no, I have actually listened to Metallica. Yeah, I play guitar here with Metallica, which means I'm a real fan. We'll live. We'll live and we'll win. We'll win. We'll live. Oh, no, it wasn't Metallica. It was Iron Maiden. It was Iron Maiden. That's what it was. And he caught me, but I had a plan. We lost, by the way. That's the end. That's the end of the challenge, everybody. Thanks for stopping by. That's a good try. Maybe next year. Name five maidens. Um, I didn't play Elden Ring, guys. Didn't play it. Do you believe we're still in the tutorial? Wow. I'm blown away, guys. Love this. I love this, guys. Name a woman. <laughs> Got me there, brother. Got me there. One more on closer to the mod pizza. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'll get one, I'll get one, I'll get one. I'm gonna say... I'm gonna say Lois from Family Guy. Do I have time to just do push-ups right now? Probably do. Let's crank him out! Count with me! John Stone. What? I have traveled from three days into the future to say... Land Rover Rover! Thank you, Charlie! I 
I don't even know how many that was. Was that not moist? Yeah, it was moist. Thanks to the 300 bits. I didn't know there was a jazz sound. That was seven? There's no way that was seven. What? You guys are trolling. That was more than 10. If someone's ordered the non pizza left beef, don't do that. True. I was there. <clears throat> Funny meme. Not tasty. All right, hold on, child. I'll do him in a second. Your boy needs breaks. Listen, I'm no superhero. 30 push ups in a row, in a row is nuts. There's at least one. Okay, good to know. Good to know. Wait, can I get a phone? No. Nope. <laughs> Why was this help for moderation? The word ham. Ham with an N. <laughs> yeah, you guys. It must be an acronym for something really bad. Hand. <laughs> it's like how the chat can't say Joe Biden for some reason. That was a weird thing. Like, I don't have any filters set for that. <laughs> Just will not let you type it. Yeah, you can glizz though. If you do any variation chat, it also does not work. And it has to be approved. And <laughs> Joe Button. I watched a thing about Joe Button. It was a couple days ago. I was like walking on the treadmill and I watched a video about him. He's an interesting character. Okay, this is the last huge battle. Get ready. Where's my little my little orb thing? Oh, wow. The gene orb. Now any Pokémon that we use will turn into genes. Bedazzled genes. It's the Jorb. Will we ever get balls? I've had them from the jump. I don't know about you. Been rocking with those since 96. Hello? <laughs> I've never had that happen. That was crazy. See that frame drop? I mean, I've definitely had frame drops in this game, but like not, not in like the base game. Jim, impressive. Speaking of gym, I'm turning my living room into a gym. And by a gym, I put a treadmill in it. Cause it's too cold to walk outside. I tried going out for a night walk. This is like five or six days ago. 
and it was 20 degrees out. I had to stop because my skin was turning red. I was walking in shorts. I was only being hot when I work out. Anyway, we can get a prediction. I want to be become John's friend. Mods? Coin flip? You also said, can we get a predication? <laughs> yeah, I thought it'd be fine, because, like, the more you walk, the warmer you get, because, like, your blood's flowing. So I didn't think it would normally, it wouldn't, like, matter that much, but it was just really cold. It was windy, too, which made it worse. We're almost done with the intro chat, promise. I know, it is lengthy. Don't go outside ever. Chat, I went outside yesterday. Guess what I did? Hot pot Korean barbecue. Mmm, yummy. Hot pot? It's a great place. Korean barbecue is a great place, but getting the combo locations is nuclear. They got a place in Duluth. Uh, no, I try to think of where it was. I don't know. Barbecue quest in real life, yeah. Get that bulgogi, bul, hello, bulgogi beef. Ooh, so good. It's also the only place I, it's the only place I've been to that I've liked pork belly. I really don't like pork belly for some reason. Even though like visually, it it just looks like bacon. Something about it just doesn't doesn't taste good to me. But that specific one I had at that place was so good. Scott Tiger, thanks for the year. One year. Wait, did you guys hear that um, the Switch 2 or whatever it's going to be is coming out this year? Which I know that that's been like a thing for a long time, but apparently there was a bunch of people who admitted that it is actually coming out. Like people who have been working on the console. Like the the people who worked on uh uh Game Shark, whatever the, whatever Game Shark does now, like that company, they they accidentally leaked it on their website that like they have a rough estimate of September for this year. I saw the leak specs and I laughed. Why? Because it runs like a PS4. I see nothing wrong with that. Having a PS4 in your hands is, like, insane. If, if anything, if I'm not mistaken, that's, like, equivalent to the Steam Deck, is it not? Maybe the Steam Deck, Steam Deck is slightly better. But I feel like people, even though it is a last-gen console, putting that in your hands is insane. No, apparently what they're playing is it's just, it's not going to be like a, I guess it is going to be a successor, but it's going to be like a Switch. The Switch is too good of an idea for them to just give up. If they did that, it would, it would be so stupid. That's what separates them from every other game console. And that's why every other company is trying to make that game console. Do you want my Mew? No. No, guys. Thanks, though. 
What will the GameCube 2 drop? Honestly, they need another console that you can carry. Maybe like, we'll join you and carry you switching your hands. No, the GameCube literally had a handle. That's what the people want. They're always talking about like, we want, we want, the people want great games, great gameplay, a nice controller, no, handle. They want a handle, guys. Obviously. Clip that, guys. Really important. All right, we have like what? One more, one more place that we go to. Yeah, here. Hammed. Boom, boom. Because I'm the best streamer. Chat, am I the best streamer ever in the history of the world? What are your thoughts on that? I'm just toning out all the, on the nose. <laughs> Thanks guys. I want to kiss you. All right. <laughs> so, my, my friend Dylan, I dropped my, hold on. Ah. the cap to my bottle. Uh, my friend Dylan was like, hey, fellas, on my stream tonight, because he's doing a subathon, he's like, hey guys, if you want to come over, we're doing a hot tub stream. And I was like, ooh, hot tub. <laughs> and I was like, nah. <laughs> That's a, uh, I can only imagine how that would go. <laughs> That sounds like a disaster. A bunch of derobed pokey tubers in a hot tub for hours. What would be better than that, guys? Okay. Yeah, I wear like a full costume. Didn't Ryan and Frank do a hot tub stream in 2021? I have no idea. I don't keep track of my friends hot tub streams. <laughs> don't really keep that in the back of my head. Not on the list. I do. I do. I'll watch Dylan's VOD tonight. You just doing another playthrough of Violet? No, it does feel like that currently. But just wait, everything's gonna change in the next 10 minutes, maybe. Maybe. I'm really hoping. And the cool thing about this video is that I kind of don't really know a lot of things that's that's gonna like happen. I've tested a little bit of this this video that I'm working on to the point that I know that it works. But past that, there's a lot that I I don't really know how I'm gonna navigate, and I really like that because I do. Johnston dance. When it comes to doing catch malls and Professor Oaks, I really plan this stuff out. But this one, I'm just gonna run it, and we're just gonna see how it goes. I will say this will probably take like the next two days, three days to do. That's a game plan. Oh, ominous. 
He is a Chad for sure. Hey, thanks for the 13 months. Scott's Tiger, thanks for the 12. If I didn't already say that, I appreciate it. Hey, Chad, if you link your Amazon account to your Twitch account, you get a free Prime sub. One whole month free of ad free viewing emotes and me smiling. Ooh, power slide. Oh, yeah, I wasn't supposed to. I was supposed to stop like where the texture on the ground changes from like to tile. But I just did some crazy strats. So that's probably going to mess up the cutscene. Yeah. Oops. My dorm room, everyone. Why is my room so sad? My real one or my fake room? This one. I just moved in. I haven't unpacked my boxes, brother. Real gaming hours. True. Levin, thanks for the 15 months. Oh, yeah. Go to bed. Time to sleep. Days quickly fly by after you start your new life at Uva Academy. But then! Oh my god! This school is being attacked by Deoxys and Rayquaza! Man sleep for weeks and wakes up ready to graduate. I watched a lot of uh, uh, Destiny Deoxys last night. Sorry. Would you, if you haven't seen, that is the GOAT Pokemon movie. Man! It's five months. Nah, three was peak. Three is like 45 minutes. That's like a four, it's not even a movie. It's 45 minutes long. And all it is, is dog takes girl, dog is dad. And then some letters, you just learn to spell for the other 35 minutes. And then, and then Ash's mom gets taken by Entei, and Entei's like, you're my wife. Heroes is peak. Ash kisses a Pokemon. Next. Hyatt Johnston. I will dust any Pokemon movie that isn't Destiny Deoxys. Go ahead, name it. Name a Pokemon movie that I've seen, and I will absolutely cook it because there's nothing better than Destiny Deoxys. Hoopa movie? I saw that on, of all places, the Cartoon Network. Network? I don't really get it. I only watched, I think, like half of it, to be honest. And then I saw it one time it was on Twitch. Pokemon Forever? That one's not bad. The 3D modeling is kind of... But aside from that, that one's actually not a terrible movie. Movie 2000 is pretty gas. Yeah, no, you caught me. Except you can't... You the, they, the fact that they named the evil guy Lawrence is crazy. You can't be evil and be named Lawrence. Like, what are you going to... What are you gonna do? Freddy, thanks for the five. Yeah, I need to see all the Sinnoh movies. The Mass Marauder is sick though. In forever, and he's he like he's like the 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 bounty hunter for Team Rocket, and he has like the dark balls. This is a dark ball, and he throws it and captures the the cage Tyrantar. And Tyrantar is like comes out, he's like he's like all sweet, he's like hey guys, I'm Tyrantar. And he comes out, he's like ah, and he starts hyper beaming everything and destroying everything. And then they had like the dark Sneasel and and the yep.
Mass Marauder is just Pokemon Coliseum and XD? What do you mean? Is that not his name? Pretty sure that's his name. He has a cool fit too? Oh, the concept, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think I've seen any like bad Pokemon movies. I just know that Hoopa, the Hoopa movie is considered to be the worst, right? Wait, isn't Journey? No, Journeys is a TV show. Which is which was the movie that was most recently in the theaters? I think it was 2019. Not Detective Pikachu, but there's an anime movie where Pikachu talks. Power of Us. No. Yeah, which one? No, I forgot. There were two of them. I choose you in. Wasn't Power of Us in theaters, or was that just Japan? Yeah, I didn't even go see it. Oh, yeah, so Rude was in theaters, too. That's true. Yeah, that's a good point. By the way, Chad, we're doing none of this. None of it. Don't, don't care. Don't ask. It wasn't theaters. The room was in theaters. Hundred percent was. Not U.S. theaters. It was in Japan though. That's how you got the uh, the thing to get Dada as a root in the shiny Celebi. I paid a man in Japan to go do it for me. <laughs> for a month, this guy had a hustle of just going and seeing the movie over and over. Grace, thank you for the, the prime. We're not gonna save Arvin's dog, nope. The Keldeo and Kira movie? Don't know it. Oh, you know what? I have seen the Arceus movie. I was gonna say that I hadn't seen that one, but I think I have. At least part of it. Yeah, he probably just bought a ticket. But I'm sure, like, at least the first few times, maybe. It was like, yeah, I'll watch it. I got nothing to do. You're not confusing Argus with the Jesus movie that you rented 18 times? No, it's definitely Arceus. <laughs> All right. The treasure hunt has officially began, chat. But guess what? We're not doing it. Not even, don't even think about it. No. Hello. Hello, John, this is Jacques. Hi, Mr. Jacques. Sorry to bother you while well, you're probably out searching for some nice treasure. You see, we have a school trip every year around this time. It's a special collaboration between our academy and another school. Would you believe it? Yes, that's right, chat. We are able to go, to go do the teal mask. This, I would like to think, is pretty common knowledge that you can go and do this. Relatively common knowledge. You can also do classes? Right. I didn't know this, am I dumb? You're so stupid. Everybody laugh at them. That's so embarrassing that you didn't know this small little game fact for Pokemon. This, this silly little game. But anyways, yeah, we can go here. Teal mass time. And like I said, there are some some small intricacies to this challenge that I am unaware of, but I think for the most part, we can figure out a decent amount of them today. 
But I think you're going to find out some very shocking information. Why is that one piece of hair, like, right there just sticking out? It's, like, not even part of the rest of his hair. Jaka is probably the craziest fit out of anybody here. An insanely loose striped t-shirt, sweatpants, but one leg is cuffed and the other one isn't. And like bath slippers. <laughs> and a lab coat, sorry, my bad. Oh, yeah. Kitakami time, everybody! Okay, I need to do 23 push-ups. You guys said I did only 7. I don't believe you in the slightest. However, I will do them once this cutscene starts. Lore. Lore. Did you read all that? What did it say? One weird thing is like, why are they our friends? <laughs> Sorry, I know that's weird. 23, count! I don't think I can do 23 in a row, chat. I'm gonna be real. I'm just being honest with you, I don't think I can do that, but I'll try. That was 15. One. True. Give me a bit. Give me a bit. I'll do some more. Give me a bit. I was going to fall over. I also wasn't breathing, so that's probably an issue. Welcome to Kitakami, everyone. Bubg. Oh no. <laughs> can we <laughs> you too short of your bent door? No. Yeah, we can. Actually, you go up and inhale when you go down. No. If you hold your breath. No, they're right. So as you can see, we're in Kitakami, and if you know anything about Kitakami, one, there are two moons, as you can see, up in the sky. Pokemon here are level 10. Now I will say, I would assume that the majority of you guys who have played this DLC did not play it at the beginning of the game. So normally these Pokemon may be level 60. But because it's the beginning of the game, obviously, they don't want it to be level 60, right? Because that would be that would be kind of silly, right? If you just go out and catch level 60 Pokemon. So, they are level 10. Um, maybe max level 20? I don't know. We'll explore. We'll figure it out. <clears throat> the Lachian Watchers won't know the lore behind the broken door. Oh, yeah, they will. Don't worry. Why don't you use Maridon? You can't in this this part of the thing. You have to walk. I don't know, chat. I don't make the rules. You catch level 60s at the beginning of Sword and Shield? Shh, 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 that's, no, 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 no. <laughs> no, those Suicune speedruns have to be cheated. By the way, Chad, I am in the works of getting um, more of the Nuzlocke highlights out. Um, 
they should be more regular now. Which is, I mean, to be honest, they, they have been getting more regular, it's just they'll be more, more regular. I've been getting out like one a week. Carmine. Now let's see. So, I forgot what level I am. I think I'm like 12 or something. <laughs> it's definitely not gonna be daily, but. 12 and we're level 11. Okay, this should be fine. Are we gonna do a Sun and Moon Oak Challenge? I might, it's just it takes long. And I know that's like my brand, but. There's some aspects of the Sun and Moon one that are really tedious, like Pokey Pelago. It's like just waiting. Now I'm not waiting for things, like I've waited for shinies and stuff like that, but that is kinda. Eh. Much like in Diamond and Pearl, yeah, but that that's just like one Pokemon when you really think about it. That's one singular Pokemon compared to however many are in that one section when you start the Poke Valley go, you have to grab so many Pokemon. Sad. Jeans. No more jeans. I'm taking them off. Pulling ahead of other jean based Pokemon. Oh, wait. Jean pants. Three. Boss, thanks for the 16. I didn't mean to do that. Are there sub 1% SOS counters in Ultra Sun and Moon? No, it's not sub 1%, it's just 1%. But yeah. Oh yeah, you're ghost type. Real. Johnston looking. On the upside chat, 99% sure this battle also does not matter. There's too many Pokemon chat, I'm gonna say it. No, that's good damage though. Give us 30 more times and we're good. Give us 31 more times, we're good. Azura looks good in this game. It's like fluffy. Restore challenge returns, yes. I wanted to do something with the DLC and I know that I just uploaded a video about the DLC. But I just want to like do something more. Cause here's the thing, I, I forget what stream it was. It was a really long time ago. I watched a stream of small land. I think he was playing Minecraft or something like that. And he's like, it blows my mind that Pokemon creators don't, like they don't have enough ideas for the new Pokemon games aside from what everybody's been doing all the time. Like Nuzlocke's shiny hunting and stuff like that. And I was like, that is a really valid point. Like this is like the most popular Nintendo Switch game. It's really, it's up there at least. And like, there's nothing, like we haven't found anything to do. <laughs> so I thought about that, I was like, yeah. This was a long, this was like a year and a half ago, I think he said it. Um, and he's right, that's the thing. He's right, absolutely. So I try to find a way to, to include the DLC, but to make it fun. Okay, so once again, we do have 
a little more tutorial, but not much. So, let's go in here. And we freeze. Okay, we're good. Don't worry. Catching a shiny Pokemon every day until I fill out the Dax. That is, um, I think there are some people who do that for YouTube Shorts. Which is cool. Except they do, like, many in one video. Because I think one is not, like, entertaining. I think Pokemon content has evolved to the point where if you upload a video of you getting one shiny, unless it's something, like, insane, like, you get Manaphy, you get Jirachi, it's really not, like, as sustainable as it used to be. Because people used to just upload shiny reactions. They're like, I caught, like, a shiny Hapini. Here it is. And it would bang. But now it's, like, they're so it's so easy to get shinies that regardless of the game that you do it in, it kind of just doesn't seem... Like, if you saw it, like, getting, like, a shiny Chansey in Fire Red is, like, a huge deal. But getting a shiny Chansey in Scarlet and Violet is, like, a 12-minute endeavor. You know what I mean? Now that hits, like, that, shi that one shiny Ponyta video, yeah, that is an exception, for sure. <laughs> Love that. Not a fan of the devaluing of shinies. Chat, all shinies have zero value. I hate to break it to you. They have zero value. None. It is entirely based on your own personal experience with them. And this is, this is coming from a person who has spent thousands of hours shiny hunting. <laughs> I sell them on eBay. There you go. I didn't say shinies weren't amazing. I was saying that people who, who attribute worth to, to shinies are silly. They can have sentimental importance to you. For sure. Be like, yeah, this is the first one I ever got. This is one that my friend got me, and then he, uh, we got a divorce. Okay. We do have a battle against Kieran. I'm gonna be honest. I have no idea if I'm gonna actually win this. And I don't know if I need to win this. I don't think I need to. Your friend divorced you? Well, people in chat who are married, are you not friends with your spouse? <laughs> <laughs> or are we all 60s boomers in chat? I hate my wife. I hate my kids. Okay, it is two Pokemon, Centret and, what's the other one? Centret and, I don't think you have Poltergeist. Yeah, this is a cool theme. Yanma, that's what it is, it's Yanma. No, nah, it's Applin later. I'm skipping work and risking unemployment to watch you. Nice. Well, that's going well.
You guys are going crazy in the back. That is too much movement for a man his age. Yawn my balls. My first shiny was um leaf green. I got a Pidgey. I live and I kill. I think we're fine. Boss makes a dollar, I make a dime. That's why I watch John Stone streams on company time. Thanks guys, thanks for supporting me. I think that did 15 and I had 28, so this will knock me out. That's okay. See ya. This is a scary question to ask because I'm afraid of hearing the answers. What was the first Pokemon game you played? If there's anything in the 3D era, X and Y, yikes. Yeah, I feel like, you know, it's it's bold of me to assume that you're all similar to my age, but I think generally speaking, most people who are my age started with like some Gen 3 game. Like Emerald, Fire Red. Mine was Crystal. First one I owned was Emerald. Because I think people my age were too, too young to play red and blue, but just barely old enough to not play gold and silver. How old am I? 36. Do I need to win this? If Azuril can knock this out. <laughs> okay. Oh no, I actually had to win that. Hmm, maybe. Maybe. No, okay. Cool, skating by, bare minimum. Born in 1943, John is old. Actually, this is no me. My dad was born in 44. Adopted? No. <laughs> Dude, I was 53 when he had you? How do you know when I was born? Anyways, hold chat! We have now completed the intro of the game. Of the teal mask. Keep in mind, we're right at the beginning of the game. This is Clavel. Do I have the pleasure of speaking with Master John? Yep! My might, it certainly does the old heart good to be greeted with such a lively response. Now, if I could take but a moment of your time, there is something we must discuss. Master John, you're about to be presented with an exceptional opportunity. You already know the Unova region's Blueberry Academy, I presume. Hmm? Of course I do. Indeed. Tales of your school trip to Kitakami that you've experienced for all of three minutes even reached my office. <laughs> We're already in the paper chat. We're already in the paper. In any case, the director of Blueberry Academy happens to be an old friend of mine. 
And he told me that he would be delighted for you to host you as an exchange student at his school. Which means, chat, despite what everybody said online, even though they said that you need to beat the game and you needed to complete the teal mask, you can access blueberry academy keyword access blueberry academy i'm not gonna we're not gonna jump into it all the way just wait because in your head you're probably thinking well there are a lot of things <laughs> that don't really make sense with that logic because if you know the indigo disc is a sequel to the teal mask storyline wise so what does that mean? How is that going to work? Retro, thanks for the 42 months. Come on, Mora. Gamers. Ex nice. Also, I was going to make my little fruit bowl thing. I'll throw that together in a second. You will hear it. You will hear the machine working from my kitchen. What is this, a fruit bowl machine? My Ninja Creamy. Mmm, creamy. He is kind of goofy, but that, that was a sick hat trick. This is what it's called, chat. It's called the Ninja Creamy. Reamy rat. Wow! Indigo disc. Heard good things from Yellow. <laughs> Yellow lied to you. <laughs> Yellow has been around the block. Yellow is seen every frame of my Nuzlocke. So, we have now reached the Indigo Disc. And, like I said, you're probably wondering, well, how does this work? Because if you didn't know, spoilers, in the Teal Mask, Kieran turns evil. So how does that apply into this scenario? Because we have not reached the point where he turned evil because we have not crossed him. We have not crossed him yet. Instant card, thanks for the tier one. Enjoy your emotes, enjoy Dumby, enjoy your day, enjoy your wife and kids and your happy family. Did I mention Dumby? That too. I'm not happy. Jeez. He's not evil, he just hates himself and lashes out because of it. So you're saying he's he's a he's a wimpy little baby loser ex champion? Cringe. 
Kieran is just called Joe in German. Wait, that's half of me. He's pre he's pre ex champion currently. Yeah, that's a great point. I didn't think about that. Lore. I love lore. Lore. So much talking. So much. So we do have to fight. What's her name? Lacey? Gromby? Bingle? What's your name? Lacey. <laughs> okay, I got it right. This should be easy. It's a plus little and mining. Quick battle. Quick battle. Your team is level 70? <laughs> no level scaling here. All right. No, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Fine. It's I, I, we can make it through. We can make it through. Helping hand. Helping hand. I guess in a way, it's still going to be a quick battle. Maybe I didn't think this through. I love how they both don't die at the same time. They have their individual moment of despair. Love that for them. Left. Uh, sure. Uh-oh. Why do you even need to do that? <laughs> you did not need the boost. I promise. You did not. Yeah! Yes! Ooh, that's the damage we're talking about. That's crazy. I did get a hit in. Say what you want. Did I lose? Yes. But I dealt damage and they were level 70. That's embarrassing. I'm just giving all my money away, huh? Imagine losing and your reward is $1. Like you had to pay out one singular dollar to the winner. So. We are done with that. New fit, and it actually matches our, we have a new gene fit, everybody. You can call me Gene John Jingleheimer Schmidt. That the last one didn't work, sorry. So we can go to the terrarium. We can go to the terrarium. I believe I cannot. Oh, I can ride now. Okay. Wow, look, act shocked. What? What? Oh, this is amazing! It's so pretty and and real life like. Oh my! There's rocks and trees and bog. Bog. <laughs> I still can't get over this. There's always like it just in this cutscene there's just like pop-ins for everything. Everything's twitching and freaking out. 
This is the terrarium. Healing. Did you ever find out what's inside of that orb? I always thought it was Orange Crush. It's definitely not come. It's actually filled with money. It's the orb from Squid Game. Dirt, water, and crystals? No, it's squid game money for sure. It has to be. Also, just a side note, why did they make a squid game TV show after making the squid game TV show? Because the squid game, like, live action one or whatever it was, I know money, but like, it literally defeated the purpose of the concept of the first one. It's like they didn't even watch it. <laughs> okay, so. I believe we have reached the point where we are now free. Round of applause, chat. The tutorial is done. We do have the opportunity of attending a class in the coastal biome. Sure, sure we can do that, right? However, let's do a little exploration. We got some monsters here. We got some little guys. Out of curiosity, let's just check the levels, right? Rhyhorn, level 10. That might be hard to work with. All right. A little bit of trial and error never hurts, chat. Mm, okay. Don't worry. One thing I will know, chat, is I think getting money in this is not going to be very hard because you can get so much money in the terrarium. So many things to buy and sell. Can we gamble? Sure. So one issue with this that's going to, to come into play, there are a lot of uh, things that will hinder us from being able to get as many Pokemon as we can, right? One big thing is that the catch rate of Pokemon is influenced by how many badges you have. This was an issue that I had big time when I did the first Professor Oak. This Pokemon has a catch rate of 120. So it's not, it's not bad. But it's not good. But I do need a level 60 Pokemon that has good moves. That's also easy to catch. I'll throw a great ball. All right. <laughs> well, I feel like once we get one, we're good. Let's go in here and see if we can buy some balls. Wait. Oh! Hold on! You can buy every single ball. There is no, like... Oh! 
Oh, that makes a huge difference. I thought you were limited to just like the ones that you get at the beginning of the game. Like I would have like Pokeballs and maybe, maybe a Great Ball. Okay. That's actually a huge help. So, um... You can, but like 11 balls. Like I said, getting money, chat is not going to be hard. There's so many things you can pick up, so many things to sell. Like you can pick up one feather that is worth one ball. We can farm money. Easy. Did you complete Tailmaster of this party? Technically, yes. So, um, repeat ball. What do I, what do I use? I want to use Ultra. Nest, that definitely will not work. Quick, right? Let's try a quick ball. You need to swim for feathers? No, you can just pick them up off the ground, chat. Pretty sure. Uh, hmm. Very... Like, a lot of the stuff we can just sell. Terra Shards. Let's try and get another Rhyhorn. Oh, true! I need to give it back shots! Yes, that's right. Yep, you're right. That would actually make it way easier. That is a very good point. Shells of an XQ? Okay. Realize I did not word that the way I should have. Live and learn, baby. Live and learn. Maybe I don't need to be buying them one by one, but... Venomoth would be cool too. At the other day, we had to catch everything, so... Uh, I think Rhyhorn, though, will be the most useful out of catching a lot of things in Savannah Biome. So, if I throw it now, it should do better. No, 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 just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait. Oh, we did it! One down! Okay. And for this one, chat, I will let you name it. I will let you name it. I mean, this is cool, but it doesn't, I don't know how useful it's actually gonna be. What do you guys want me to name it hand? Why is it not? Let me. Okay, that's silly. In. So, you are obviously gonna be the lead. Level 64, by the way, chat. No badges. We just finished the intro to the game. We have a level 64 Pokemon. It's kind of crazy. I can change its moves, all that stuff. It has Horn Drill, which no joke, that would actually be kind of helpful for taking on some of like the, the gym related stuff here. But I think what we need to do, first of all, in my opinion, Chad, do you think it would be a smart idea to see how far I can go in the terrarium and additionally find fly points to go to? 
Because I would like to think that that's probably the best course of action. Is to find out where I can go. Which I would like to assume I can go nearly everywhere. I would also like to point out one very important thing. As you can see, I am moving not very fast. Because it is tied to badges. This will be our speed for the entirety of the challenge. Which is very unfortunate. Additionally, we cannot swim. We cannot high jump, and we cannot climb. So we're going to be taking a pretty scenic view of the terrarium for the remainder of this challenge. We know what that means. More opportunities to acknowledge shinies in the wild. Horse. Did I don't get a shiny horse by the end of this? That'd be very sad. Yeah, I can't glide either. Can you get to the fossil Pokemon? We will have to figure that out. You have to also consider, though, uh, with the power of raid dens, the answer is probably yes. Probably can. So, we are now in the coastal biome. I guess actually we should just go because one of the one of the next fly points is up here. And we had to do it anyways. Will the Pokemon obey? Um No. But that won't be a huge issue. The obedience in this game works on the level that you caught it at. And the only Pokemon that are going to obey me currently are the Pokemon we caught at the beginning of the game, regardless of what level they, they go up to. But Rhyhorn will not. They'll obey in raids? Oh. Okay. Catch an Oh, I missed all of that. Okay. So we had to catch an Alolan form Pokemon. Uh, there are a lot of options. There are. Can I fly to this location again? Yes, I now have a new fly location. Wait a second. What are the odds that this is Totodile? How crazy would that be? Zero? Why? Oh, right! Yeah, it's probably Bruxish. Probably, probably Bruxish or Dupiter. Got me there, chat. Got me there. You guys are smart. You guys know a lot. A little too much. So, what could I catch that's in a lowland form? I could go grab uh, Exeggutor, Grimer, Muck. I think what's easy. Probably Grimer. Yeah, I need to do push-ups, and I now have to do. I I didn't do seven of them, so I had to do seventeen. Let me just grab this first, and then we'll do it. And then I'm gonna make my food really quick, but that won't take very long. See, like dragon scales. I do need those, but at least I can sell them, the extra ones, because I'm sure at some point I'm going to grab an extra one. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Grimer is not going to be fun. However, it is probably best case scenario, and I'm just going to save. No, stop doing that. I have to like sneak up on it. Woo. Hold 
on. I feel like I'm playing Legends. Where'd he go? Oh. Grimer. Please. Wow, okay, that was easy. Cool. All right, Grimer. Slam? No. I'm gonna do skip moves, by the way. All right, I need to actually note these two. Rhyhorn. Grimer. Got it, okay. Um, no. I'm gonna turn that off. I think I'd have it. Oh, it is in my party. Okay. I did. I have six Pokemon. <laughs> Grimer. Finish that. This will unlock the barbecues. Blueberry class. That was fun, guys. Speaking of blueberries. I really said that to be the end of our little tour, but let me leave you with one more tip. Mm -hmm. Blueberry quest. Okay. Heard that. Heard that. All right. Barbecues are done. We're ready. We can do them. You are quite ready to progress further in the adventure awaiting you at Blueberry Academy. To do so, you'll need to have first completed your main adventure in the Paldea region by completing the professor's last task, as well as conclude the assignment that you were given during your school trip to the land of Kitakami. So... That means, chat, we can no longer go any further in the game. Here is the thing, though. We're already in the terrarium. We can access the whole terrarium. We can access the entirety of the land of Kitakami. Aside from the parts that don't touch water, and maybe some places that are a little too high. But at the end of the day, that really doesn't affect too many things. There are some things that it affects that, yes, I am already aware of that you're probably going to bring up. But do not worry, chat, as we have solutions. So, I think our first game plan is we reach everywhere. I think we should get the fly points. Uh, getting one up here, I genuinely do not know if we can do it. We might be able to. Um, however, there is one over here, so we're going to go here. So, we're going to skip all encounters, unless I somehow find a shiny. Yeah, I think the, the cave does bring you out into that area. Oh, yes, yeah, it definitely does because they have, like, the stairs and everything. Can't you get everything Pokemon through Terra Raids? Yes. The issue is that that is an absurdly long amount of time to get that done, when there are definitely faster ways we can get it done. For sure. I also need Pokemon strong enough to beat the raids. Like, for example, what's this? Snubble. Yeah, I can beat that pretty easily, but... Um, the things that we're looking for are things that I don't know if I can get, like Shieldon and Bastiodon. Or Shieldon and, and Kranidos. 
I want to find out if I can go up there. Because I didn't really think about that until you guys brought it up. Like I said, a lot of this is just some kind of... I'm just kind of guessing. I will say, though, that it... You do have, um... There's a giant bridge that leads all the way there. Oops, I didn't do that. Yeah, I know it's not in this game. I'm just saying that, like, that location where the nature reserve is, that you... I don't know how much of that you can access. Oh, that's actually a really great point. I can do that. You know what? I will do that. I will do that. I do need to make my, um, my food, though. So let me just go here. We're going to park it for a second. I'm going to load up my old creamy. And I come back in, and I had to leave in five minutes to then collect my, my meal. And then we gamer grub. How many shinies do you think I'll find during this? There's a small collection of shinies that I do not have in the Indigo Disc that I would like to get. I think it's going to be more than two, chat. I'm going real slow. We're taking this sluggishly. Slu sluggish? Is that a word? It is now. I would say four. Okay, let me heal. Okay, give me one second, I'll be right back.
Can you hear it working? Yeah, you can, it, it's like slightly picking up on the mic. <clears throat> Anyways. So, um... So if you see right here, these little, these little bridges allow you to cross from one area to the other. Obviously we can't do that one. Can't do any of these little ones, but. If we go roughly. Oh yeah, we can access this one, okay. Let's go here, I think. Are you sad that bank is ending soon? Um, it is silly that they're ending it. However, there are alternatives. There's always ways to get around it. Those are my thoughts. Oh yeah, right, chat. Where is the where's the location for Meloetta? Where is that? Is it here? It's like somewhere in this area, right? I've not even done this event before. I, I don't even know. Let me look it up. Oh, wait, wait. I know it's on it's on Cerebi's, uh Poke Earth. Meloetta. Oh, it's right here? Oh, can we get that? Probably. Might take a little bit of effort, but you know what? I'm, I'm open to it. Oh, right, we might even be able to catch it. <laughs> Didn't really think about that. That might not be possible. Huh. I don't have the sepia filter yet. What do you mean? How do you not? Does that not look gas? Okay, kind of doesn't really look gas, but like it is. I promise. Hey, how are you doing, France? It's it's a little strawberries, pineapple, and Greek yogurt. Oh, one second, trap. I know, Chad, it has like a thing, it looks, it has a hole, you have to mix it somehow. How do you, how do you change the filters? How do you unlock the filters? You sure it's Greek yogurt and fruits? Yes. Okay. Hold on. So how are we going to get over there? I can definitely go this way. Um, let's see. So maybe I can't get Meloetta. Yeah. If I, if I can't get until right now, we can, we can be creative though.
Um, yeah, maybe I can't access it from this area. So I'll go this way. Yeah, we can go to the center. Um, there's another stop, I believe, right here. Let's try that. You can climb up through the caves. One word is not possible in that sentence. But I do, I do get what you're saying. Yeah, I don't know how to understand, like, how something so simple can taste as good as that does. It is gas. Okay, let's go over here. Uh, I think just being here, now I can fly. Yeah. Okay, let's go here. Blueberries, yeah, I have blueberry and, uh... Blueberry, blueberry and... Not strawberry, cherry. Blueberry and cherry, I believe. And that one was really good. Hot take blueberries suck. That is a hot take. Straight to jail. Dean, thanks for the 12 months, one year. What do you have to say about that? All right, fair enough. <laughs> I don't know why that didn't play. <clears throat> did I pass a shiny? What do you mean? What did I pass? What did I miss? What do you mean? What shiny did I miss? You didn't- no one said it. It was a Litleo? Where? I was looking at chat. Oh no! No! Oh, I missed it! It was in the group! Oh, uh, wait. No! No! Chat! No, I didn't fail one! You're- you know what, and I feel dumb. I feel dumb because I got baited just like you. I got baited just like you did. Look. It's a deerling. It's a deerling inside of a group of Litleo. <laughs> That's a good bait. That's a good bait right there. That's not bad. Jeez. You know, he's scared for a second. You almost thought I was a big, stupid loser. Uh, okay, so we can fly there. Cool, let's go this way. That is crazy, though, it, it, how similar that looks. And to that I say... Ice Queen. I don't know how you can't like pineapple. If you don't like pineapple, get out. It's so good. Skirt. Cool, that's something I can sell. That's not really that great, honestly. Can I enter from the- yeah, I can enter from the bottom. Okay. That was crazy. Wait, can I get Synchro? Central Plaza. So we are now in the center of the terrarium, which means this isn't a surprise, but we can access everywhere. Um, so that's cool. So that's, uh, let's go to the icy biome. How do we, where's the synchro again? Is over here? Yeah, it's right here. Is it you? Pineapple is so bad, it makes everything you taste after you eat it awful and numb. Brother, you're allergic. Go to the doctor. That's what happens when you have allergies, my friend. I believe it's you. 
No. The woman next to the healing machine? What? I thought it was like right here. Remember the background being this color? Is it not? Was the name of that attack Psychic Noise? I've never even heard of that. Heal station? Okay. I'll go there. I'll go there. I can jump and make it. Watch this. <laughs> I was actually joking. I didn't think that was possible. <laughs> okay, cool. Truly did not think I could pull that off, but here we are. The creamy ussy? Sorry, sorry. I'll stop, I'll stop, I'll stop, I'll stop, I'll stop! I am Rhyhorn. I saw a video of somebody who did the synchro here and they found like a Tyrogue. Go to the tree. Wow, you did it. You did it. <laughs> we need to try Tyrog. So now. What? Wait, you won't synchro? Why? Oh, because you don't obey. Oh, that makes sense. Oh. Oh. Wait, where is she? Yeah, I, I thought, okay. My bad. I don't, I don't think I'm gonna, I'm gonna live. I am riding my balls right now. Okay, let's grab this item. Wait, wait! Money. Money. Not, I'm just gonna fly away. Sound. We're on our way, everyone. We can win one battle for sure. You killed him. Oh, my. It's fine. Who we have? Grimer. I think Grimer resists Tyrogue, so the way Synchro works, I think that actually might be possible. I don't know if I can knock out three of them, but I can definitely knock out one. Matt did a video on like um the Synchro feature. I believe that's what he said. This will be super effective. Come here, my love. Perish. Yes, yes, perfect. Wow, great. Which now I think about, it, yeah, it does beg the question: Do Pokemon who don't obey me can you synchro as them? Like, how does that how does that work? Yeah. So how does that? Oh, ball! Wow.
Okay, so I believe there's one... I'm trying to get all the flat points, once again. Um, there was one here. I think we can climb up the mountain. That's not po easy, or not... Jeez, that's not hard, but we can't get up here. I know that. That's gonna be... A lot of crawling, but I think right here is the place I'm looking at. Tavern egg. I had so many eggs Can't yesterday. If I get to witness huge gaming Johnston bar. Uh, Sarah, Bear, thank you for the five months. This is huge. We haven't really done any gaming yet, but it is huge. Can you synchro Pokemon to access fly points you can't reach with Maridon? That's actually not a bad point. Okay, let's. Do we have any flying Pokemon? We don't. Let's go catch a flying Pokemon. Synchro doesn't fly up. Oh, I know, but it can still move upwards on a, on a slope that I might not be able to access. So we won't write it off. <laughs> That's shiny for sure. Just in case, because I know you guys are going to say it. Does it move your trainer, or it doesn't move your trainer? That's true. However, that might mean, though, that I'll be able to access fly points that I can't normally get to, which means I can access more Pokemon. Oh, it's right here. <clears throat> What's this? Bert. One second. My, check, my credit report came in. I upgraded my credit report. My credit score went up from four to five. That's right. We're going to the debt with this one. Oh, that's gonna hurt. All right. To use real money because I cancelled Prime user Prime subs guys. I can't believe. Why did you cancel Prime? What did they do? I'm checking Twitter. Baby, hey, thanks for the ten months. I appreciate. It. Thanks for converting. Thank you. Thank you. Now I'm gonna be honest. For this mix. The pineapple is significantly better than the strawberry. It doesn't really mix them together. It's just like top pineapple, bottom strawberry. But it's still really, really good. Yeah, that girl didn't have to go that crazy on that credit report song. I remember seeing that late night on MTV. Ooh. Is that a rare spawn? Maybe not. Actually, this is a great showcase of maybe, potentially, a flying... Oh, they're gone. Okay. <laughs> I need a flying Pokemon. Maybe Solosis would be good. Let's try Solosis. Easy to catch. Stupid looking. Those are the only boxes we need to check off, for being honest. Let's give it a shot. I can't imagine this would be that hard to get. There you go. Okay. So those is...
<laughs> what did I complete? Uh, no more jorts, guys. We're in the we're in the winter areas. Gotta be really careful, you know. So here's a hypothetical. I am Solosis. I am also Solosis. Maybe I should pick a different location. Oh, well, that's not good. Hmm. Let's try over. Because yeah, you have the cave that you go through, but how do we get up here? Is the real question. Wait! Wait! Large brain idea. Large brain idea about to execute right here. I tried to dash. I do not have that ability. So I can't go in the water here, right? Obviously. Cannot do that. But. That's not what I meant to do. However. Duck. Duck in the water. Okay, this will actually, maybe, is it useful here? Not necessarily. But we do be walking. We do be walking. Wait a second. Here. No. He's vertically challenged. Yeah, no way I'm getting up there. However, alternative. We're about to get a little creative chat. Strap into this one. Okay, well, I need to jump, ideally. No, no, that's not what I meant. It's not what I meant. <sighs> oh, Ooh. okay. Oh, <laughs> okay. Thought we were gonna have a little bit more adventure than that. That was the end of that. So. Hold on. This looks climbable. No? Okay. It'd be a little too high to do that. Yeah. That looks a tad bit too high. Hmm, hold on. Let's not write it off here. Come on, 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 go! What do you, stop, you're just, oh wait, no, that's great, that's great, give me the battle. Sick, okay. We're dying, but we are thriving. R.I.P. Why did you fry him? That was so cruel. But, with one small sacrifice, I would like to know this is the only time we need to do this. Because once we're able to scale and get to every location to fly to, we don't have to really worry. Almost fast travel everywhere.
Oh, I think I can do this. Right? Got to. It has to work. Surely. Here? I can jump from here to here. Come on. All right. I I don't want to say that we're stuck, but it, it seems like we are. Hmm. Just need to get over on this side. That I've been to. I did a Duraludon outbreak there. You can't do it that way. Hmm. Charge Stone Cavern comes out that way. Oh, wait! Here. And there's a side entrance of the Charge Stone Cave. Why did I make that so difficult? I can literally exit right here, I think. Oh, unless it's above. I don't think it's above. Hmm. Hold on, I'll figure something out. The wall where I caught the is like right here, you can scale up here. Try it! Arctic, thanks for the three months! Wow, we. That's what I'm saying. Rich, thanks for the 46! He's here. You're saying you scaled this. You scaled this mountain? When? With your ice picks? In what realm did you climb that? Alright, we're gonna go charge on Kale. I'm gonna see if I can get to the other side. Jeez. I think that there's another area you can exit through. Over here. Oops. I do think it's fly point anyway, so that's fine. Cool. Take that. Should probably heal too. So, jeez, a lot going on. Okay, um, maybe I'm crazy and you can't. I swore that there was like a little area you could go in here that would allow you to access it. But I guess this is gonna be the, the largest hurdle. I don't know how we would get up here. Like this looks kind of believable right here. Climb up here to here to here, all the way around, and then up here, but... Hmm. So I have to get right here. But once I get- once you get in just into this area, you can ride your way up to the top. Not to the peak peak, but you can ride your way around enough. Um... I just do not know how we would get there. Um, this does have jumping spots right here. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Probably should have thought this through, huh? Okay. Uh. So you go here, you're stuck. We already tried that. 
Yeah, how would I get up there? Wait! I remember. The old noggin chat. Tapped in the old noggin. There is a way we can get to the top. It is a secret entrance that I forgot about. Oh, I guess I had to go this way. Yeah, we can go through the ladder caves. However, there is an entrance over here to reach the top. And that will be our opportunity. Right over there. Right here. Okay. So we had to find, I had to find my way through this because I genuinely do not know. I have no idea how to get through this. But at least we are now in the area that does lead to the top. There are quite a lot of ladders to climb, for example. What's that? Oh. Um, oh, I know where I am. Okay. Cool. I think I can sell those TMs, right? Where am I? Same. I go here, and then I can go... This way... No, I don't think it's this way. But I am going up. So that's important. Here. Uh, is it this way? No. <laughs> okay. A little overkill. Please don't knock me out. That is stupid! Stupid! Okay. Go this way. Don't worry, chat. We're getting out of here. Boob. Was that Gramble T posing? Oh, no. That's just how Gramble walks. Okay. I'm not judging. I just didn't know. Definitely not that way. I can definitely climb this. Thank you. <laughs> Hi, Beanie. Wow. Oh, wait. Ah, there we go. Okay, new fly point unlocked. We are now at, not the top, but we're pretty high up, right? We're pretty high up here. Which means I can 100% access over here now. Um, it is a little... It's one bold jump from the looks of it. <laughs> oh, okay, maybe not. Huh. Let's give it a shot. There we go. Don't know until you don't die! Oh my god! Okay, I didn't think that actually worked. Wow! We're good. So, um, hmm. Now, how do we get over there? This looks easy, yeah. Getting to the top top of this is going to be a little difficult, but I might not need to. Also, I could maybe just do this. Nope. Okay. It's fine. Um, 
That does bring me into the upper area. Yeah, we're good. Problem solved. Yeah, I know there's another path to the cave. I just don't know how high that leads up. We'll have to look into that. Wait. That's normal. You never know. Sometimes, sometimes they look off. Okay, we're in the polar biome once again. However, we are now in the upper area that you cannot access from the bottom. Beldum, cool. That's gonna be such a pain to get. Hey, you need to jump. I just ride the way to the top. Look at that. Okay, well. We can ride most of the way. La la la. Darcy, thanks for the four months. La la la. I remember that genie. Unless that's not what you're talking about, then I just sound insane. Okay, riding all the way. And then I have to do Coastal Biome. Which I think that'll be, ooh, actually that might be harder. <laughs> Believe it or not, that might be harder to go to locations. Come on. Try that. Nope. Come on. Yeah! BLJs, baby! Okay. Does that make it possible to go up here? We're getting up there. Oh, easy. Okay, there we go. So, uh, where are we trying to go? Because I think it's right here. I didn't have enough time to react. No, 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 no. Why? Why do you know that? Oh yeah, true. I do need to see if the synchro works for fly points. That is a great point. Chat, it's time for ball. Go! Yeah! Come on, ball! Just wait! He kinda looks just like a butt, but he's on his way. He climbed that hill. He's climbing that hill with no struggle whatsoever. Wait, can I just go? There's no way I can just vert it. They don't have gravity? They're not bothered by gravity at all? They can just climb- <laughs> Just climb vertically. <laughs> okay, I mean, hey, we'll take it. We'll take it. Now, I believe that this right here is a new fly point, which, if I can go here, that is an insane exploit. Let's find out. I feel like he's slower now. Got really wounded from, from that hike. Reach the top. <gasps> I made it. Okay. Hanging out with the fellas. Say what's up to Horsey. And then... Grab that. Okay. Well, Crabominable, please stop. Please, you're scaring the kids. Does that mean I can fly there now? Ah, it doesn't. Okay. Well, if Solosis can climb this, we can climb it too.
We were truly dealing with a different being. What Solosis did out there is something that no human or mortal being other than Solosis could pull off. No. Okay. Do that. <laughs> this really is. This is probably the hardest. Forget catching Pokemon. This is the hardest part. Climbing the mountain. Wait, that worked? No, 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 no! Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. That worked a lot better than I thought it would. I don't think we go this way. Come on. Let's mark it again. I'm so close, chat. Wait. <laughs> Can I just ride to the top now? <laughs> yeah. I was mentally trying to assess this whole game plan. I'm like, oh, how are we going to scale it? We might go left. We might go right. Nope. You just drive. Hello? Why don't I have a fl Oh, now I have a fly point. I didn't before. It was important. That's why you check. That's why you check. So, I believe that there's one at the Polar Plaza, is there not? And that's everything here. I guess I can just check, right? Flying points. Oh, there's one over here. Yeah. I, mean, I don't really need that one, though. That's the thing. Also, I don't think we can even get that one, but... That means we can go here. Descend. I would also like to think the... Because like I said, I didn't really plan this out, which, you know, it, when it comes to my videos, in hindsight, not the greatest idea. But I would like to think that doing them by location is probably the best way to approach taking this on. So we can we can narrow down everything from each area and be like, can we get this? Yes. Can we get this? No. Because some Pokemon are also in other areas. Which does have a huge influence on uh, completing more of the decks. Because we might not be able to get Deerling in one area, but we can get Deerling in another area. I know that's a terrible example because we've passed by about... 400 different deerling, including the fake shiny one. Let's heal. Do you think you can get to Cleaver? Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. Okay. Did that. Next one is right here, which I can actually do. What about Fluttermane and Iron Jagulus? They're not part of the DLC decks, so it doesn't matter to me. We're just doing the DLCs. Yeah, this one was stupid easy. Because here's the thing, Chad, I've already done a video on getting every Pokemon before the first badge. I did that, like, right when Scarlet and Violet came out. Um, so there are two more fly points, as you probably know them. There's the one at the Canyon Plaza, and then there's one that is right here, which is just, like, another resting area. These ones are going to be not easy to get. However, I would like to think... We're going to try and see if we can get to the nature reserve, and that might make things a lot easier to manage, because I know that this, although you can't really tell from the map, this area is lower than this, because I used to fly here a bunch to go to the nature preserve. So we're going to start here, which I need to go here anyways. You writing this down? Uh, 
Oh yeah, I can go this way. Okay. Thought you needed to become champion to enter the BBA. The what? Big Brain Academy for the DS and the Wii? No trap. You just need to uh, start the game. <laughs> Big Booty Academy? Sign me up, dog. Sign me up. But I think I will let you guys choose locations as we go along. It's, it'll be a little bit until we do that, but. Then we'll break it down location by location, grab everything. And then once we're done with that location, we go to the next one. Loot. Okay, so we'll go here. Try and, oh, this is a spiral. So we spiral up here, go this way. Wait, oh, this is so embarrassing, but the only way that I knew that is because I saw a video on Twitter of the Golden Go riding to Tony Hawk's skater music, and this is exactly where it was done. It like rides up the side of the mountain and then takes like the path all the way to the nature preserve. This way. <laughs> Please tell me one of you knows the video I'm talking about. Go here. I know you guys might be memeing, but like this genuinely like looks kind of good. For like a Pokemon game, this just scenery is like aesthetically pleasing. Am I crazy for saying that? I'm not saying graphically it looks good. I'm just saying like from a design standpoint, this is a very like neat thing. Sounds too! Oh, okay, so we maybe can get up there. <laughs> we had to play only up, but we might be able to make it. Wrong. <laughs> There's no way this doesn't <laughs> go <laughs> well, Jeff. Sorry, the first one, we can't climb it. Come on. No! 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 No, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. It's gonna go here, it's gonna go here. This way. What? No, no, there's a path. We're not stuck. We can climb off the dock. We can make it. Big jump. They call me Big Jump John. No shiny deerling. I almost just went. <laughs> this one I look like it looks like I can get up. No, that's not. I'm just No. Bad. There we go. Yeah. Oh yeah, baby, that's magic right there. Okay, let's go this way. I think with the right attitude, we can we can get up to the nature preserve. Is there anything that I can't get other than shield on? Cause I can get Skarmory. Cause keep in mind, I can make sandwiches.
Trico. Right. That is a fair point. Was an air. Pee pee. Gross. Oh, wait, maybe I can. Okay, let's go here. It looks good. It looks good to climb. Can you get all the mount upgrades without badges? What do you mean? Like how? Come on. Come on. Come on! Please! Okay, wait, wait, hold on, hold on. It's actually maybe possible. So you go here, back up here, keep backing up. No, 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 no. I know we can do it. I can know. Hold on. Hold on. Oh! You saw that? That was some real momentum right there. There's no way I can't do this. Oh, come on. Come, chat. Maybe I have to go far right then. I keep trying to go left. Hmm. Don't go far right. Maybe? Maybe? No. Oh! Oh! Oh my god! All right, we unlocked a new fly point. I, I'm gonna be totally honest with chat. I don't think this one really mattered that much, and we probably put in nearly the most effort. But are you winning, son? I think I am. All right. I really don't know what like allows the fly point to activate, but okay, we got that. The real issue is <laughs> getting up there. Hmm. Wait. <laughs> okay, so we're just gonna take this with a grain of salt, chat. But what if? What are the chances of all of this being a perfect straight shot? Zero. But you know what? That's not zero. I meant to say one. Okay, let's lay it out here. Oh, a little hole for me to go through? No. no. 
I'm concerned about how you read Cynical Cave. No, Chad, stop. I've got it. Where is Cyndaquil and Dens? Please? Oh, wait. Okay, this is another trial and error thing. I promise, Chad, we will be catching Pokemon at some point during the stream. Wait, Roman, thanks for the, the two months. Thank you, thank you. Maybe I just need to grab the corner. Oh yeah, that was way easier. What? So, question is... Oh! I think I need to climb more of the mountain. That's what I need to do. I didn't realize where I was. Oh, problem solved. Okay. <laughs> Let's go up like this. No, don't you dare fall. Don't you dare fall. Hmm. So I think I had to get up there. Maybe not necessarily all the way up there, but... Oh, maybe I should do this. Is that fine? I think so. I just ride this. <laughs> I ride this path. This is slightly promising. Very slightly. Was that Elka shiny? Doesn't matter. We're on a mission. Who needs shinies? When you have goals. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah. It was this part right here. Oh, wait. Yeah, yeah. Never mind. My bad. I worried for a second. Worried for what? Here. Right around. Okay, that was easy. This doesn't look that easy, though. Hello. We're so close. Wait. Wait, where's, where's like the, all the stepping stuff? Okay, hold on. Hold on. No, 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 no. We can work through this. <laughs> Alright. So these are like obviously the highest area. And if you if I climbed all the way to the top, obviously I could mm, okay, maybe I couldn't even jump down from there, but These are like both on the same level, which makes it so hard. Wait, isn't this above this? Because it's a waterfall that cascades down. So if I can get to Cleaver, because I was all the way up there, Chad. I was all the way at the top of the mountain. So if I go this way... I mean, in theory, it should be fine. I think. Because I think this is lower and this is higher, but this is the highest. If I can drop down here, jump across the water, do a backflip, double back spin. This is so much trial and error, but you know what? Is this not the gaming you want? It's either this or Fortnite. I 
Am I playing this or Power World? Chat, why would I play Power World when I've already got all my pals in chat? That's you, buddy. <laughs> That's you. So, this. Okay. <laughs> I feel like this is a really easy jump for me. I feel like this is a really easy jump for me to set up. Let's go this way. <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> I don't understand what's going on. No. Thank you. Oh my. Oh, Larg. So I believe that this will take me directly to Cleaver, which is, um, sick. Yeah. Yeah. So you can, we can definitely catch Cleaver. That's not a problem. It's going to be a huge pain, because that, doesn't that thing have, it's like a 15 catch rate or something like that? Something crazy. You can catch cleaver. There's one static one here. One singular static cleaver. There it is. So, um, this is arguably more advantageous than where we currently were, or where we were before. Because you can see, all we had to do is just drop down and we can get to the nature preserve. So, while getting every fly point is great, it that doesn't mean that we can't get to everywhere that we need to go, right? It's just it's going to be a little bit of a pain. So, I would like to think that I, I really can't get over there. The only exception is maybe that rock that where my head is can jump over, but I think that's like way too big of a gap. But... Um, from the looks of it, I can get to the nature preserve. Keyword from the looks of it. Let me try and get there first. Oh, wow. Oh yeah, we can definitely make that. Okay. So, um, no, go away. Yeah, getting up there, I think is, is not really realistic. And going down there to then go up is also even worse. Hmm. I can't think of any other ways to get there, so I, I'm, I think we're gonna just say that it's probably not possible. So I'm gonna take the jump here. So whenever the time comes to do the nature preserve, it's just gonna be a little bit of a pain, but that's, you know, whatever. But, <sighs> no, don't worry, don't worry, don't worry, don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. It's fine. We should go from here. Jump from here to here. Boom, nature preserve. Okay, that's pretty sick. It is. What? I will say that, hold on, maybe, what if I just catch it and I never have to come up here again? That is also an option. <laughs> There's another one in the back too. I did catch it off guard, it's also a quick ball. None of that matters. Trico, true. That's a great point, yeah, I had to come back anyways. You got me there. Skarmory, you can get in other locations. I will say, I've seen Skarmory... Trico's post-game? No. Chat, trust me, there, there are workarounds. There are workarounds to making this happen. So yeah, this is like the only one you can't get. Which is fine. 
out of all of the spawn locations in the game, missing out on technically two. Yeah, this one, there's one right here, but I don't think that that actually matters in the grand scheme of things. There's like a Terra type that we miss out on, or a Stellar, but we don't even have Stellars in lock. So. I think that, that we're good in terms of flying. There's four here, right? Four. And then there's another three up here. Got that. There's another four over here, but I have three of the four. And then there are supposed to be four here as well. Okay. So, yeah. I think we are good. So, let's go back to the savannah. And we're gonna prepare. Because I have a map, which is a huge, huge help. Are you guys cool with me starting with the savannah? We'll start with something real easy. It's a pretty short list of Pokemon. There are, hold on, 51 Pokemon that we can get, but we have, there are some starters, so not all of those will be obtained. Is your stream? Yeah, have a chat. Listen, this is a collaborative effort. We are working together. This is literally soup. Fruit soup. <clears throat> so sometimes I get emails from my, my HOA that I'm in. If you don't know, it's a homeowner's association. You like live in areas that have like, you know, it's, it's basically just like a way to scam you. But there's no other houses you can buy, so you have to buy in an HOA. And apparently they've been having arguments with people over solar panels on their homes. I had a neighbor who had uh, a rock garden, and they made him dig up the entire rock garden. Because they didn't like it. It was so stupid. And so like, and when I say rock garden, you know like you have like the, the, the mulch in front of your house typically, like most houses have like a mulch bed or like straw or something where you can plant plants. He was like, well, rather than paying for mulch every year, why don't I just get rocks? And I was like, wow, that's genius. And it looks better anyways. It looks like wealthy. And it does cost significantly more, but you never have to keep up with it because they are, once again, rocks. And they were like, mm-mm, it has to be mulch and you have to pay yearly to get it re relayed. And keep in mind, you might think, well, that's them trying to sell you on something. No, they don't even offer to redo the mulch for people. They just don't want you to have rocks. <laughs> And so this poor guy spent probably like $3,000 on rocks on his property only to dig up all of them and then have to pay again to get mulch. My next home chat will not be in an HOA, I promise. I will do everything in my power. Because they're goofs. Okay, so we're just going to go down the, the visual list that I see. Which is like, uh, it, it's basically in Pokedex order. Um, so we're just gonna run around, we're just gonna grab everything that we can. So, uh, I do need balls, but I'm gonna sell- What did I just pick up? I clicked the machine and I got a TM. What? What did I get? There's an item behind them? Oh, I just did a frame perfect move. Shop inventory. Where do I sell? Do I have to actually go to the center of the map to sell? I can't use the, the vending machines. That's silly. That's silly gaming. Also, just to uh, kind of spoil it for you, I figured this kind of goes without saying, you can access all of Kitakami. All of it. 
There are like some rivers you can't cross over. Like there's one like a way back you can't jump over. But aside from that, you can. Can't sell here. So I have to fly to Kitakami to sell. That is a little bit frustrating. By the way, we will be doing all of the storyline for the DLC. For what we can, what we can do. I know what you're saying, well, John, if you can't do all the DLC, that means you can't get Terrapagos. And then the and the and the the little spooky dogs, whatever they're called. The beasts. We'll figure it out. We'll make it happen. There are three levels of this progress that we will go over. The first one right now is what can I catch? As my own being, what can I obtain? Oh, wait. Sell. Uh, don't need any of these. Okay, let me do, like, bulk. Truly do not need any of these items. And I know these are, like, little teeny baby items, but over time. Need all those. Berries I don't think are really worth much. Um, those could be useful. We have mints. I mean, like, look at that. That's easy. Evolution stones. Icy rock I will not need. Float stones are 2,500? Terra shards are five? Oh, we got money, chat. We're not, don't even sweat. That's crazy. I didn't know Terra shards were that much. Uh, stuff for my bones. Calcium in the sort. Uh, T. <laughs> Yeah, child, I don't really think that this is going to be too much of a concern. Have money. Jeez, dude. What? I'm actually blown away. That is ridiculous. We're going to have half a mil. And these are like the things I'm supposed to sell. I mean, that's, yep, cool. You should keep some attack defense my events for evolving the Hitmons? No. <laughs> Next question. No, I don't think that's gonna be too much of an issue. I will keep it in mind. I do need to like deal with that, but I also can just buy those. So I'm just going to buy them when I need them. All three Hitmons are on the map. Yeah, but they might be hard to get. So I say we start. Uh, first one is Venonat. And here's the thing is I really don't think I need to, to catch the evolutions because you have to keep in mind it's going to be really hard to do that. And my the best alternative for this is to, one, hit them with a backstrike and then... Once I catch it, we can just evolve them later. Um, I can do it off stream, whatever. Should be backstrike. Why can't I throw a ball? Oh, I didn't buy any balls. That might be an issue. Maybe not. We'll see. That's crazy, you know. I know you're like level 60, but why? Earthquake won't knock you out. Huge cope moment, but. <gasps> I forgot you don't listen!
Ah! Oh. Well, see you later. Alright, let me heal up. Chat, you guys are getting baited so hard. <laughs> You're literally giving in to bait. <clears throat> I did not mean to run into that. Yeah, I could level up my Pokemon. Yeah, I do need to buy balls. Sorry. I mean, yeah, let's do that. No, I don't need that. It is night time, right? I think it is. Oh, I forgot to backstrike. Oh, those feathers. Remember, we were talking about that. Yeah, chat, if people are going to troll and chat, if you, if you keep entertaining them, they're just going to keep annoying you more. So usually in those scenarios, I just wouldn't acknowledge those people. <laughs> it's usually how you deal with those situations, chat. <clears throat> One down. I mean, technically not, but. So, um, I guess I do have to be checking these off, huh? Venonat. You can get Elekid? Where's Elekid? See, part of me wants to take some of these Pokemon out, but also keep some of them in. Maybe I should keep Quaxly. Or no. As much as I don't like using Gallade, I also can't. <laughs> that was the end of that story. How about... Um... I mean, I do have- okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I have an idea. Because I believe that they they spawn- there were some more that spawned over here, so we're gonna go and see if I can get any male Ralts, and then I'll catch that, then I'll keep it in my party, and as we're leveling up, it'll eventually level up to the point where it can fall swipe on its own because I have a Dawnstone that I can use on the guard of- or the- the-, the you know, sometimes I get so passionate, I just forget how to speak. I'm so sad now. Remember when I could talk? I don't. There was one that was right here. But I said specifically, ew, I don't want that one. I believe. Uh, uh, I honestly don't know where they spawn. Do I know level, level 60s for the Fire Red? Elite 4? No, maybe. Close.
Hmm. Maybe that's not an option. Okay. How about a Breloom? Yeah, but here's the issue with that, is if I were to go get a Breloom, I would need to ride all the way here. <laughs> I think maybe in Kitakami I can catch a Breloom? Let me see. No. It's only here. Unless Breloom isn't a place that I can find that's like Let me see. Breloom. I would do Scyther, but I can't catch a Scyther and have it obey me. That's the main issue. So, let's look for Shroomish. Shroomish spawns. Oh. It apparently spawns... Like here. Like right between these trees, apparently. Is where it's, it's, it's border of spawning. So I can check and see if maybe there is, but I don't recall ever seeing one. But that would be a significant help over what we're currently working with. I think a little bit of craftiness. Oh, look at that. Magic. Yeah, apparently here they spawn. Which I'm not recalling. Just wanted to give thanks for all of the entertainment you've brought me over the years. Less than three. Much love. Scalable, thanks for the 2,000 bits. That's crazy. Thank you very much. That's super kind of you. I'm glad. I'm glad you like it, chat. I mean, just... Oh, hello? <laughs> Jeez. I do appreciate it very much. I do love doing what I do. The old gaming. Oh! Speaking of gaming... Gaming! There you go. That works. Knowledge is power! And by knowledge, I looked online. Name it gaming. I can do that. We'll be seeing this Pokemon a lot, so. 19 won't obey. That's a really good point. Cap is 20? Oh. Wait. Let's look it up. Obedience level. Well, it tells me for one badge. That doesn't. That doesn't help me. Check your trainer card? Is it actually on there? What? Cap was 20. Well, I remember I, I made this mistake before. That's why I'm I'm like very unsure. Um Pokemon caught at level 20 or below will listen to your commands. Cool. So, let's go back. Also, we can check out these outbreaks. Never know what's there. Could be, could be a nice hat. Maybe some, uh, some old folks who will tell us a relic of their past. Maybe. It could be hot anime women. You'll never know. It's a question mark over it. Could be Pokemon. Probably not. Probably hot anime women. Uh, 
Uh, question is, when does this thing learn spore? No, we need jean pants. What am I saying? Am I crazy? Goodbye, Ralts. I'm sorry. I'm also, am I over the right? No, that would have been, oh, you have a large mushroom? A what? Level 40, wow, that was easy. <laughs> no joke, your streams kept me sane back during the pandemic. Really appreciate the content. Detail, thank you for the prime. Breloom. 40 is actually not bad, just to start with. We'll get Spore. Don't evolve before you get Spore. There's no way I can't, like, just teach it Spore, right? That would be a pretty insane oversight, don't you think, chat? I made this mistake last time? You guys are clowns. In what realm would that happen? <laughs> In what realm would they be like, no, it's just for the lower level, guys. It's just for the lower little guys. Level 45. It's not terrible. Uh, who is next on our list of guys? Oh, you know what I should do to make this a lot easier is I can just put the Pokemon I need to evolve in my party. I know. Pretty mind-blowing thought process. I don't know why I'm doing this one by one. So I need do, 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 do. Wow, almost three years. Flirt. Don't flirt with me. Stop that. I get nervous, chat. Ball. Well, that's crazy. Go eepy time. <laughs> All right. It's okay. Ah, nuts! How much experience do I get from Happini? Out of curiosity. Just mark myself with the pen I was writing with. You guys are really speaking on the big things today. I appreciate that. I'm glad this is going to be part of the video. <laughs> this whole chat. Okay, next is execute. A lot of them are just here. Oh. 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 What is larger than jeans? XL jeans. This has absolutely nothing to do with the decks. Gene two. Yeah, I think Scyther is going to be a huge pain. Cleaver, like I said, is probably going to be the second worst next to getting Beldum. Uh, 
I guess he's closer to getting the false swipe TM. Yeah, how will I get that? I might not need it, to be honest. But it would be nice to be in my possession. I'm actually gonna run away. Oh, I have Poison Heal Umbrella? Cool. Jacques is, oh, with 20 dex entries? Does it count the DLC though? Cause I'm pretty close to 20. I'm actually not gonna deal with Grimer right now because it's not part of the decks that I'm working on, so. Don't look at me. Yeah! We got him. Wait, did I surprise him? I don't think I did. All right, well, hey, fall. Hey, John, spell Grimer backwards. Uh, I don't know, guys. Can you just do it for me? Thirty in base decks only. It's the worst Christmas ever. How did they notice me? Reamer. Got it. Thank you. Hey, I couldn't tell if I did that right or not. Uh, yeah. Getting specific evolution stones might be a tad bit difficult, I will say. This can't do that much. Truly, I cannot believe that it will do a lot. Is that the iron printer? Nope. Nope. In order to get the item printer, I need to complete uh, the entire base game storyline. It is nighttime. I believe in game. Visually, it looks like nighttime. Egg. I'm sure I can pick up a leaf stone somewhere. I can definitely do it in the base game. It's just that's like what a chore that would be. Um Yeah, I'm stealing the big mushroom. Rhyhorn. Next one is Chansey, which I'm going to catch even though I had to do Hapini. Um, I actually have to find a Chansey. Where do they spawn? I know they spawn around here. Oh, they spawn literally everywhere in the savannah. Okay. Uh, that's also a shiny I did not get in, uh, in the video I did. Recently. Am I doing a living decks? No, I'm not. I'm trying to complete as much of the decks as I can before um, I ha I'm forced to fight the first gym. Uh, any chancy? Yeah, I'm chancied out for sure. What? That didn't count? That's crazy. The way they determine what's a backstrap and what's not, it's like if it does not hit it directly on the center of its back, it is not gonna work. 
Why not? <laughs> ah! <laughs> it's okay, guys. Don't worry. It may be the worst day ever. But it can't get any worse. Oh, it was a Dodua outbreak. Gotcha. That is something. Maybe we get a shiny. Hee <laughs> ha. Yeah, I guess I'll ride around until like, I get what I'm actually looking for. Push-ups, true. I really do need to do that. <laughs> let me, let me get this Scyther. They're gone. Let me find a Scyther and get him, and then yes. Alphabet Sue says the five. Love you, Mr. Stone. Hey, I love you too. We're married, by the way, chat. Um, okay, there we go. No. No. How does that make sense? Wait, was there a chance? Yeah, I didn't see it. <laughs> this one I do not think is going to be... I didn't mean to... I'm dead. Jeez. What I might need to do is make a normal type sandwich. Grind up my Pokemon. Fight against Chansey. Stone Edge would destroy this thing. What side there's catcher? Is it 45? Yeah. One horn drill couldn't hurt. It's one level higher than me, which means the netball will do negative calculations and then actually catch it because it's confused. I lied. Why do I catch so many of the same Pokemon? I don't have this one. Yeah, catch rate is affected by badges. Also fleeing, apparently. <laughs> uh, okay, let's heal. Yeah, these are the ones that are gonna be frustrating. Anything that's like under 90 is just gonna be a pain. But that is how it goes. Oh, yeah, I still don't know where I get Elekid. Are we going to buy Netballs for Scyther? I, I just don't know how much of a difference that's actually going to make. Oops. I'll buy 20. There's no way to get Smoke Balls. There's no smoking in this game, guys. This is a family show. Uh... You guys, said, you guys said you saw Chansey over here? I did not. Yeah, I know I can get Elkid there, but apparently Elkid spawns here as well. Nope, run away. I dare you. That was a crazy throw. I smile.
quick ball. Now I use a net ball. <sighs> Chessie's had it! Chessie's pissed. Uh... I can't imagine Mach Punch would knock it out. I think Headbutt honestly would do a lot. Yeah. Why does it look like its eyes aren't even closed? They're just like, they just cut them in half. Remember when the original, yeah, they're broken. The eyes are broken. That's really weird. Remember when the, the base game before the update, um, when Pokemon fell asleep, their eyes wouldn't close? I remember that. That and BDSP. That was a rare moment in gaming history. Seeing that. Yeah, Dodo was just running into a wall. Progress. Chansey. I am 100% adding this to my party. Goodbye. Duck. The gene crew has been destroyed. Sorry for the sad news. What? Oh, I thought there was a Pokemon up there. There was a Scyther who was just flying up there. Yeah, I don't have any friend balls. That would be significantly better. Thankfully, there are not a lot of friendship evolutions I need to deal with. I can also just catch a wild blissey. That is an option. Um, they do spawn a little bit. So, worst case scenario, I can just dodge that whole idea. But for right now. Oh, bestie balls? Yeah, that's way different. Bessie balls are goaded. Um. If I can backstrike. No. Uh, bad. Oh, I eat. EP time. Yeah, but don't let go. Okay, I'm gonna throw a ball after this. And if I can catch it, we're good. I would like to know I also need to get scissor. We're not gonna worry about that right now. <laughs> Whoever said net balls? You now control the chat. What is your first decision? Wow. Don't really need that though. Electabuzz. Electabuzz spawns here? Here? In the prairie section. Okay. I don't believe that. Yeah, I can also just get that later. Hmm. It's just on this this outskirts area.
Thankfully, it just evolves at level 30, so this honestly might even be a waste of time when I can just get this somewhere else. Same with I can just get Magby and evolve into Magma, which was next. So you know what? I'm actually going to skip that. Executive decision. However, Tauros is only here. Um, and that is going to be not fun to catch either. It's going to be right around here. I don't know why I'm so tired, chat. My, my sleep schedule, I, I mentioned in the beginning of the stream, it is just cooked. It's so bad. We need to sponsor Raid Child Legends again. Chat, I'm going to be honest with you. I don't really take sponsorship offers. I don't like doing them. I know that you're memeing. Yeah, unless it's the Pokemon Company. I really only do sponsorships for things that I am like... Really excited about. I used to take brand deals because I was moving and I needed money for a house. So... I don't really need that currently. I'll probably move again. But, yeah, I don't know. Where's that Tauros? Ah, there's the guy. Surprise. Because I do get a lot of offers to do sponsorship stuff. I just choose not to do them. Also, it's very hard to organize that stuff when my videos are as inconsistent as they are. You know? Any weird funny offers? I- well, here's the thing, chat, is it's not really uh, a smart idea to, like, badmouth anybody. You know what I mean? However... <laughs> I would never say any brands. However, I did have this strange one where somebody reached out to me and they said, hey, do you want to do a, a video for the channel? We'll pay you. I believe it was either two or four pairs of pants was the monetary reward for doing a video for them. And I tweeted about that, and there are so many people, not so many, but there are like people who like quote tweeted and replied to me. They're like, John, that's like really like not egotistical, but they they were saying that I should have taken the deal because a deal is better than no deal. Which in a way, they're not wrong. Cause like let's just say. Getting getting a brand deal, let's just say they give you 500 bucks. If you're if you're like waiting, you're like, no, I won't do one unless they give me two grand. And you wait like two years to get one of those deals. When you turn down about ten five hundred dollar ones along the way, yeah, that's actually a great mindset. You should take the smaller ones because over time they'll equal the big one that you're looking for. We're talking about pants, though. In what realm do I need more pants? I have plenty. I don't, I don't even wear pants that much. I wear shorts. And it's winter. And I know this is not a great transition for what we're currently on our grind for, but I'm pretty sure that they were jeans. Yeah, I should have taken the deal. I know, chat. I'm gonna sneeze now. <coughs> oh! Whew, I'm good. No, no, he didn't say it. He can turn around. Turn around. No, no, don't run after me, please. Please, no. Wow, you run so fast. Okay. Oh, 
target acquired. Boink. Anyways, um, yeah, that's the only one I was like, that's crazy. Well, let, let's be a lesson to, uh, viewers who are content creators or spying to be. If a, if a company offers you the product in exchange for promoting it, do not take the deal. Unless you, like, really like it. Because I remember I had people who, who, um, who've asked me for advice on stuff like that, and they're like, yeah, I got a, I got a brand offer for... Like, uh, like grips for my controller. Like, do you like them? They're like, not really. I'm like, then don't take the deal. <laughs> That's all they're giving you. Unless you really like those grips. You really like jeans, chat? Hey. Run it. That's gonna hurt. See you later. Radio. Thanks for the 46 months. My Breloom is dead. Dead. Yeah, I mean, like, stuff like, if, yeah, if they gave me a 40-90 chat, yeah, I'd probably take the deal. That'd be a cool deal. Sure. But, they don't, NVIDIA doesn't really do gaming stuff. They usually do, like, tech channels. What if it's, like, Blue Chew? What is Blue Chew? Is it, like, a snack? Like candy? Big League Chew? You said to have that when I played ball, baseball. It's, there's no way that's right. I'm looking it up. Blue Chew. Chewable tablets for better sex. Well, Chad, I'd need to have sex. So I'll probably pass on that deal. Hey, I caught Tauros. <laughs> Anyways. No, child, I was just playing around, dude. I freaking... I get out there, dude. I'm a young buck, dude. I'm, I'm hustling. Going to the bars, hitting up the grannies, you know. That's where the money's at, man. I'm telling you, put your own game, you know. Dude, it was actually 11 months. That accent is perfect. Is that actually an accent, chat? <laughs> that's an accent. It's more of just... A selection of people with unique attributes to their voice. That is a thick tree. That is a unbelievably thick tree. I've never even noticed that. Got some goith. Oh, you know what I'm going to do? I was gonna give it. Eh. Get some XP. Bow. It's gonna be what, like what? 2K, 3K, 4K, 5K, 6K, 7K, 8K, 963. That, that was also another option I was thinking of. I was gonna go down eventually after going up. Graph. Run, graph. Go ahead. Oh, you run towards me? Never mind. Never mind. Ah. Oh, Flygon. Oh. Oh, they're in love. Wow. That's so cute. Whoa, oh, my God. Uh, 
Um, yeah, doing the backstrikes is like so much better, but I might just not do it for this one. No, sand. I do need you, unfortunately. Also, Rotom spawns in the savanna. I have never seen Rotom in the savanna. Where? Is it in like a cave or something? Oh, there are caves that have Rotom? Interesting. Did you play this DLC? It's honestly fun. It grew on me heavily. I got a shiny? Yeah, no, I, I did. I got a shiny twice. But it's like in one of the caves in the savanna. It's apparently here. Here. And then additionally, there are caves that are here. Never seen it. Eels. Eels. Random items. Sad. What was the outbreak that's over here? Dewpiter. I'm good. I love how you had to wait 30 minutes to download the DLC. Yeah, but here's the thing. That wasn't my fault. That was truly the servers just died because so many people wanted to play the DLC. Oh. It's true. You can look it up. You can even ask my mom. I didn't even see them. Yeah, I broke my save file. That was pretty cool, too. Okay, let's see here. Change Ooh. That could be helpful. Terrarium. Uh, oh, no, never mind. I was gonna say, that was gonna be really hard to get out of the water, but it's not. It's easy. Letters E followed by Z. Any horse. Okay. Great! When you bring it down area by area, it is significantly, um... Easier to, like, break down how many Pokemon you have to catch, because it's really not that many. Cool. Graph. Scizor and then Smeargle. It says Smeargle is just everywhere. So, while I'm looking for that, let's go for Trap Inch, which I skipped over. Also, this weekend, I should be Nuzlocking. It's a game plan, at least. You know, why don't I just catch bug one here? Really? This is a, it's Bug Psychic, right? I think? I don't know. There's too many little guys now. Just Bug? Just a little guy? Okay. Nice, huge damage. 
It has early bird, by the way. Wait, that makes sense. It has to get up early to to get to that dung. This, see, this is the similar thing as Girder. Is Relor the beetle or the dung? What's the name of the dung if that if Relor is the beetle? Oh, wait. Chat. How have we not noticed? Relor's name backwards is Roller. They literally made another muck. They made another Ekans. They made another Arbok. It's just Roller? Oh. Yeah, I literally just now figured that out. No joke. Relor. You don't believe what Rabska is? As. Uh, as. As. Bar. Ask Bar. Ask Bar, everybody. What's over here? Outbreak of what? Out. Outbreak of nothing. Okay, cool. Oink. Haunts. Okay, it's getting easier. Now that we have the math in. This is significantly easier than the beginning. Boink. Bert. Oh wait, this is gonna be really annoying to catch too. Now that I think about it. I believe this has a 30 catch rate. Oh, it's 190. <laughs> Where did I get that from? It is actually ridiculously high. Huh. Why did I think this was so hard to get? Because it's late game. It's a late game Pokemon. And it's mean, and it's bird. No, not EP time, it's not now. Well. Chat tonight is wild. Chat, it's only 5 p.m. It's gonna get worse. Don't worry. Oh yeah, I will do the push-ups. After after I catch this, I will. I will chat. Always wild. Yeah, like I was saying, when I was in Dylan's, I was streaming for Dylan, I knew when you guys were watching me. Mostly because you guys were trying to emote in YouTube chat and that didn't work. I saw Beth try and type out like multiple things with emotes and it just did not make sense. No. Wait, that was mean. Uh Oh, it actually disappears after a whirlwind? I didn't know that. Interesting. All right, I gotta do some push-ups. It's gonna be a lot of them. It's gonna be a leaf 400, I think. 406. Hold on. 
How many was it? I think it's 17. Pretty sure it's 17. And I really gotta go to the bathroom, so these are not gonna look good. I'd be crossing my legs like... Oh, wait, hold on. I would be crossing my legs the whole time. Peepaw's go to the bathroom. Peepaw's real tired now, chat. All right. No more songs. Songs are banned forever now. It's in my eye. <laughs> what is next? Next is Trap Inch. Did I not already get that? No, I didn't. Okay. Oh, right. I was on the way there. Yeah. Never mind. Enzar, thanks for the prime. I appreciate it. Hope you're doing well. Trap pinch. That work? Yep. Yeah. Okay, so I just had to get that sound. I didn't know that there was a backstrike sound in this game. That does make a lot of sense now, but. Oh. I'm actually gonna run. Hmm. Okay, let's go this way. Heal up. I know Berlin was dead. Yeah, the quick balls are gonna fail a lot, which is unfortunate, but I mean, that's 
how it goes. So, fun fact, I didn't know this. The highest level wild encounter you can get is 80. I've never seen a level 80 Pokemon in this game in the wild. Perfect. Bonk. It's 100. No, I know that, chat. I, I know there's like a magic card, but I'm saying the, the general Pokemon spawns, like for everything, it ranges from level 50 to level 80. No, it's just wild Pokemon. It's level 50. Like, I'm just looking at the Terrarium, just for the Savannah. Charmander, Venonat, Venomoth, Doduo, Dodrio, Execute, like all of them are level 50 to 80. You know, seeing something below 55. Yeah, I know you said that in your video too. Strange. Maybe you're just lying. You didn't look hard enough. <laughs> look harder, Mr. Blogs Gaming. Uh, oh, I'm really out of like the good balls. Maybe there's just like a percentage, like a really low percentage of both low and high level encounters. It's kind of strange, but. Oh. Yeah, Matt, what is the best Pokemon movie? Best movie is the Entei movie? Matt, it's not even a movie. It's not. It's not long enough to be deemed a movie. It is a long episode. It's like an episode of Breaking Bad at best. How long is the Entei movie? Oh, it's an hour 33? Why did I think it was 50 minutes? It's because it felt like 50 minutes because nothing happened. Boom! Yeah, I went there! It's not feature length, no, because it didn't feature anything. <laughs> Boom! Two! Yeah, Deoxys movie goes crazy. I can't think of like the last... I think the last movie I saw, now, I've, I've, now that I've rethought, is Manaphy. The Manaphy movie. Temple of the Sea or something is what it's called. That was the last one that I saw. Excluding... Is it just called Pokemon Evolutions? It's the remake of the first movie. There's a call Pokemon the first movie evolution. Worst so far was Volcanion. Okay. I heard Hoopa was the worst, but I'm looking forward to bad movie. Boink. Did you cry at the first Pokemon movie? I mean, I saw it when I was about six, so probably. Yeah. One of my, my greatest memories as a child uh, was my mom took me to see the Yu-Gi-Oh movie. And they were in like the climax of the of the movie. And they're like, we won't let Kaiba get away with it. And I and look at me, he's like, <laughs> Blue Eyes, use your attack. And Blue Eyes like, oh, doing like, you know, like beams or whatever. And I look over and my mom's like this. Ow. And I was like, wow, she's missing out on the good part. <laughs> and that's why I had like a little, the little click in my brain. Where it's what, you know, like you reach that age where you understand what empathy is. I was like, I was like, yeah, maybe my mom doesn't like you. <laughs> that's so weird. I really thought she was into it. <laughs> All right, where do we get happy? Where is that little fellow? Little round one. 
That's my parents in the Lugia movie. How can you sleep through? <laughs> Meanwhile, the entire time Misty's just jealous because that Ash is getting rizzed up by another girl. Uh, I guess I do need Litleo, don't I? Ooh, I need that little guy, that little small guy. It's a little small guy song, everybody. This one has to be catch rate four. It's also nighttime. It's gonna make things easier. Also, why is Slow King talk in that movie? Who allowed him to do that? I don't like that. At all. Hey, everyone. That's <laughs> just sassy pose by Bullaby. Can I get you? Boink. You know what I really want to watch? I, I guess I really don't want to watch it that badly because I have said this so many times to myself is I want to watch the Orange Island episodes of Pokemon because like in my head I always wanted to watch them as a kid to so be like oh it would be super sick to see like what happens because like this whole separate league that he's in and you got Richie and you got Sparky is his Pikachu's name and you got the battles with that and then you have the the, the league that he goes to I always wanted to watch that, and I never did. Do it then? Um, well, here's the thing. It's actually not that easy to see episodes of Pokemon anymore. Currently. Because they are getting rid of the Pokemon TV app. And additionally... This is three. Additionally, the... Um, you can use the app if you have it downloaded already, which I do. But eventually that's going to stop. Pirate it. Chat, I'm going to be honest with you. I'm way too nervous to do that stuff. I've said it before. It just doesn't. Not me. Not the one. Sorry. Collecting the DVD seasons is cool. Yeah, but the quality is not good, so I'd rather have it in Blu-ray. Service so of the app ends in March? Yeah. But like, what are they doing after that? Because here's why my logic behind why they got rid of it is that they make significantly more money considering they make nothing from probably the Pokemon TV app. They'll make significantly more money renting out seasons to just different corporations, which is so... It makes me so mad. But at the same time, I really can't blame them. And I understand it, but it doesn't make it not annoying. Because somebody made a compilation. They're like, if you want to watch all however many seasons of Pokemon there are, um, they're like, here are all the websites that you'll have to subscribe to to do it. And it was like 10. At the lowest, 7. Which, that, like, who has 7 subscriptions? I have maybe five, and one of them is included with my internet plan. I believe there's 26 seasons of Pokemon, maybe 27. I don't know, though. Why does Deerling give me so much trouble? Can you just subscribe to the watch the one you want to watch and then unsubscribe? Yeah, for sure. That just is so much effort. <laughs> no, I get uh, I get HBO Max with my with my internet plan, which I gotta say, not a bad gig. I don't know how much HBO Max is. It's probably the same as every other one, but HBO Max is actually pretty solid. And for one really teeny reason. 
that a lot of other ones don't offer um, is that you can watch a TV show because I like going to bed watching a TV show and I wake up a lot during the night. I like waking up and the TV show is still playing. And they do that. I've been watching Moonshiners for the past like five days. I couldn't tell you one thing that's happened. I just like hearing them in the back be like, Quick, hide it. <laughs> go in the woods, hide it. Put in that box. Yeah, there we go. All right, let's go make some more. Which is the thing, if you don't know, moonshine ain't, making moonshine is illegal. Um, and it's an entire show of people making moonshine, but like part of, some of them are doing it legally and the other people are doing it illegally. Which begs the question, and keep in mind, they've done this for many seasons. Which, when you think about it, if they're doing something illegal and putting it on TV, what is the first thought that comes to your head? Mine, personally, was, how are they not in jail? And apparently, that was one way to get an encounter. Apparently, the reasoning behind it is they're able to get away with it because there's no proof that they're making moonshine. Despite them showing the entire process, coming up of complex ways to like haul their moonshine from one place to the other, which by the way, if you don't know what moonshine is, it's just like homemade alcohol, but it's so high proof that if you make it too high proof and drink it, you can go blind. So, uh, they, they show like this whole thing like, yeah, I found, I made this rig so we can haul it down the road and there's no way it'll look like, and when you open it up, it looks like there's gas inside, but they, around the gas is actually the moonshine that we're making. And they're like, yeah, they don't have enough proof to arrest them. Which I feel like that's enough proof. Maybe, I, you know, I don't work in law enforcement, but that sounds like enough proof. And additionally, they um, apparently generate, because people are so excited to go to where they make, I think it's like somewhere in Kentucky, people are so excited to try their moonshine that it drives enough traffic that they're deterred from arresting them because it brings so much money to hotels, restaurants, and shops in their area. Now imagine that logic with meth dealing. That would be kind of insane, would it not? <laughs> Is meth illegal? Yes, but they make us so much money. <laughs> so, I thought that was pretty strange. But apparently their logic is they, and I kind of thought this too, I just thought it was too crazy to be true, but they could just be like saying that they have vodka. They were just making vodka, which I guess isn't illegal because you can't get it to the same strength as moonshine. I don't really know, but they can be like, yeah, they were actually just making vodka and that's why, that's why we're doing the show. <laughs> it's all fake. And additionally, because I brought up to somebody, I was like, well, you can just buy moonshine at like the liquor store. And they're like, that's not real moonshine. And they're right. It's not. And I didn't know that. I felt real dumb. I was like, oh, I thought this entire time. I thought I was tapping into the south every time I went there. <sighs> Sad. We have not all of the Pokemon from the Savannah, but pretty close. Pretty, pretty close. I should make Moonshine. I mean, it might be legal in Georgia. I don't know. One way to find out. Oh, that was bad. Old Smokey makes those canned moonshine. Yeah, so th that's what I was talking about, but apparently that's not, it is moonshine, but it's not like to that extent. It's not like as strong. And that's why they can make it.
Egg me. Illegally evolving Clefairies. Isn't it like part of the lore that you you can't like force your Pokemon to evolve if they don't want to? Isn't it like a crime or something? I thought it was. Because like Pikachu didn't want to evolve and then I, I think that there was like some episode where they tried to force Pikachu to evolve. Like not Ash, but somebody else. I remember when this episode was, but the, what was the, what was the premise around that episode where, where James trades Victory Bell for Wobbuffet at like the trading center? I found a shiny Meditit. Nice. That's awesome. Let's all I have. Drillber, I can get in the caves. I definitely don't need that. Sandile, I did not catch, correct? Yeah, I didn't catch that. I failed that. Embarrassing. I just think it was against the rules to have your Pokemon battle against their own Evo. Chad, do you have like a, when you first started playing Pokemon, like some really quirky thing that you did that you didn't understand? I'll think of one. I didn't have one prepared. Let's generalize it. Let's do just like any video game. So just something about like video games or a video game that you played that you just did not get. I thought um, for the longest time that there was a scaring method. So essentially if you had a Pokemon with a higher level, try and catch a Pokemon with a lower level, it increased your chances of catching the Pokemon because they were scared to go into the ball. Your turn. You killed Shadow Pokemon because you thought they were evil? I mean, that, that I feel like, is the lore, is it not? They kind of really do set you up for believing that. Sand is a little guy, small and short and fat and dumb. Hold on. I might have to get Executor at some point. So I don't know where I'm gonna get like a uh, Leaf Stone. Spamming A to catch Pokemon, yeah. Oh, you know what's a great one? This is a Game Facts classic. Well, using your DS and saying gotcha into your DS mic. That was a big one. It's embarrassing how many times I tried that. I tried it probably like seven or eight times until I was like, you know what? I think I'm getting duped. I've listened to this song so much that it doesn't feel like a Are you winning, John? That it doesn't feel like a uh, a black and white song. Clark, thanks for the 42 months. Thank you, thank you. I used to look away from my DS. There was one time, I believe I was playing, it was either Fire Red or Leaf Green, but I was trying to catch Articuno, and I was like, my mom called me down for a dinner, and I threw a ball, and I said, when I come back, that Articuno will be caught, and actually, it was. I was like, wow, I did it. I never tried that again, but maybe I do today. See you guys later. Hold on. No, it's because I wasn't ready. I wasn't ready, though. I didn't leave when you really think about it. 
See you guys later. That's it. Peepaw's mad. Oh, Peepaw's real mad right now. You had to take off the headphones too? Yeah, I got you, I got you, I got you. That's it! It works! I still got it. What are you messing here? Deerling. I can catch Tynamo here. Fade away jumper, yeah. If only I had my basketball hoop. I replaced it. We now have mirror. I can do a fake dunk if you want. We can just pretend that I have a, a hoop over my door. You guys have to hype me up when I get it, though. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's go back over here. I'm just going to see if I can grab a Tynamo. I thought of doing a video on the Pokemon Home Achievements. Uh, yes, it's just that there's a lot of things. It, it, one, I feel like a lot of people don't know about them, so I don't think the video would do very well. That's like the number one thing. But additionally, there's a lot of them that are very circumstantial. Like you, there's one that you where you have to get a shiny Genesect, and the only way currently to get a shiny Genesect is from somebody who did the event to get a shiny Genesect. Um, so, I don't know. I guess you can say the same thing about the events that I did for Black 2, White 2. You get it from the raids in Pogo? That's true, but additionally I would have to wait for the Pogo raids for that specific one thing when there's multiple things that are like that. I have a pretty decent chunk of them. Um, I know there are some really specific ones, though. Gotta get a Venusaur from Fire Red Leaf Green. Like, specifically a Venusaur? That's pretty cool. Done. It's in there somewhere. How does that even work nowadays, though? <laughs> How would you pull that off? When they inevitably shut down bank. They're just gonna remove it or is it just gonna be like a legacy thing? Okay, Tynamo. Collected. Oh yeah, Bruxus Bru I don't know why I can't say that name. Bruxish. I feel like I was saying it correct. I just wasn't confident to like commit. It only spawns here. Uh, Dewpiter, why not? Boink. You try a challenge where you can only use the first form star Pokemon. I'm gonna be honest, Chad. I, I don't do the like, I beat this game with only this. There's not like my type of video. There are a lot of people who do it better than me anyways. Fighter. And then Bruxish. And I got Relor, right? No. So, no, I did. I did. Okay. 
So once I get this, I'll be done with everything in the savannah. Believe it or not. I, we have evolutions, but I'm just going to grind Chansey, so I think it won't really take that long to do. Considering it's one singular level. They are all level 60, but... Um, that should be fine. Yeah, there are starters. Not to worry, Chad. I have it. I have it planned out. I promise. I didn't plan out a lot of this, but I did plan out that. Opens DaVinci Resolve. That is like genuinely an underrated editing program. Do you make YouTube videos, chat? Let me put you on game. Download DaVinci Resolve. In my opinion, it is significantly better than Premiere. And it's free. I don't even pay for it. It's free. You can pay for 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 some additional stuff, but generally speaking, you won't even need it. Needs a snapping feature, like what on timeline or like, um, like in the frame of your project. Yeah, that's true. It does artifact and render, but you can slow down the render output, like speed. That does help a lot. It's actually pronounced Dupiter. I know you meant to say Dupiter, but you capitalize P-I, which those two letters together say the word pi. <laughs> Back to the drawing board, chat. Back to the drawing board. Also, that doesn't make sense. Because it's a do spider, so it would be do piter. Oh, I also have to say, the comments on the video from, I actually got a, a large amount of comments on the most recent video. Like, there's like 500 on there, which is, for the amount of views it currently has, that's pretty crazy. It's a lot. Um, but there were so many comments of people being like, there's no way he caught that many Pokemon in that much time, which I guess is proves the point of the video. But there were so many people like, there's like, there's no way. <laughs> He, he must have did something. He must have, like, hagged. Yep. Caught me, guys. You got me. How come you changed the thumbnail? Okay, so, yeah, there are people who commented about that, too. Chet, that is a feature in YouTube. They have a thing called thumbnail A-B testing. And basically what you do is you give them two thumbnails, and they spend, like, a day or two calculating which thumbnail gets clicked more. And then it swaps them. Swaps them back and forth every few hours, and then once it decides which one people click on more, it then promotes that specific thumbnail. Which, I don't even know what the answer was, because they have to like determine it over a couple of days. But people would complain about that. There's somebody who was like, like, why do you keep changing the thumbnail? That's so annoying. Brother, you already watched it once. You're fine. I promise. You'll be okay. It's for certain channels, though. You can also just pay for it. They're like companies that'll do it for you. Why does Tauros move that fast? I can check. I can leave. 
AB tasks. Oh, it's not even done? Yeah, okay, so it says that the the changed thumbnail was actually a better thumbnail. More people clicked on the second thumbnail they did than the first one. So the, the Mudkip is canonically better than Totodile by almost an entire percent. Interesting. All right, well, I'm changing it. That's sad because I really like that Total thumbnail. You guys need better taste. <laughs> yeah, based on click-through rate, the variation version of your video outperformed your original by 18%. I get 18% more views by just changing the thumbnail. That's insane. Like actually that's that is a ridiculous margin. Usually it's like a little bit difference. Just a little teeny tiny difference. People like Mudkit more. And you know what's crazy? There are some variations I've seen where the difference of the video or the picture, just like, you know those like the old John Stone Live thumbnails I would do where it's just like, one side is me, other side is Pokemon. There's some people who have done tests like that, but the only difference is they smile. Like one's just like this, the other one's like this. And you think like, oh, smile happier equals more views? No, sometimes it's not. <laughs> sometimes it's just the facial expression. Anyways, enough internet stuff for you. Um, let's go to... Let's go to the... <sighs> Hold on. I was gonna say, let's go to the coastal biome. There is like double the amount of Pokemon in the coastal biome. How about the polar? Let's go to the polar biome. Polar biome is very similar to Savannah. I will note, uh, this also includes some of Charge Stone Cave. And water encounters, which is going to be probably pretty difficult. Um... Seems circumstantial though, depending on time. Like more people had time to watch it when it was one th thumbnail versus the other. No, so it's like one day, they'll run it. You can run it for multiple days. You can run it for a whole month if you want to. But it's it's like one day, they'll run it. And one thing you have to consider is people are way more likely to click on my video when it first comes out, right? Like you guys get notifications or whatever. Um, that thumbnail still did worse. That is crazy close up. Don't ice beam me, please. That's fine, I guess. You can't really do that. Yeah, includes uh, Kitakami as well. We're starting with Indigo Disc because it's, it's more fun to be like, oh, look at me. We, we're skipping so much. Boink. You can't get trade views from one and two star dens? Uh, no, you can't. You cannot. We'll get him though. Don't worry. Because here's the thing, Chad. That when I said it was going to be like a Professor Oak, I was, you know, I said like, ish. It'll be kind of like one. So the way that it's starting out is we are just getting Pokemon. Uh, hold on one second. Take notes. Um... We're gonna start out with all the Pokemon I can get just alone on my one copy of the game, just like a Professor Oak would be, right? And then we're gonna start moving into other territories. That's level 70, that's crazy. Then we're gonna move into how many can I get with another game? 
And then how many can I get with online? And we'll determine what the total actually, like, can we get everything? So, we'll, all the questions will be answered. See ya. Lactose intolerance. Chat, uh, I have a question for any, maybe any health people or people who are very confident about their knowledge in this, in, in milk-based things. If you stop having milk and then, and you're lactose intolerant and you have it, does it like hit you harder because you don't have that same, like your body hasn't adapted? Because when I was younger, I used to drink 2% milk all the time, never had a problem in my life. And I was still, you know, like lactose intolerant. And then I just stopped, and then one time, like recently, I had it. Oh my god. What an awful experience that was. It was just so bad. How would a Professor Oak challenge but online work? It wouldn't, and that's why I was saying it's like kind of a Professor Oak. Because the first part of this is doing it as I would authentically do a Professor Oak, and then after that, we're just going to try and complete the decks. One thing, unfortunately, that will not change about this chat is the movement. It's going to still be slow. Um, yeah, I had to keep healing. Sucks. I'm a big fan of almond milk. Don't like oat. Just doesn't really taste good. Just tastes too much like oats. Cashew's not bad. Just it's like nine dollars for a jug. Too pricey. Oh, side note, I believe, depending on how this goes, should be good to do Nuzlocke this weekend. I don't know if I already said that. I might have, but <clears throat> that's the game plan. I'm scared of becoming lactose intolerant. I think you either are or aren't. I don't think you ever like stop. <laughs> you. you can develop intolerance later in your life. Boink. Am I trying to chat? No. I don't think so. I was gonna ask Mr. Blogs Gaming to help. I forgot to text him. For one, there's one section I need to get done. What's we'll of this milk conversation? Somebody said lactose intolerance, and I just be thinking, you know? I just be thinking of my old noggin. Minchino. Min Minchino. I'll be thinking a lot, but I'll be thinking. Oh, sad news. Uh, we gotta go get Beldum. Like, probably now. Oop. It sucks. This doesn't work the same way as uh, Legends, where you can, like, quickly run away and then do the lock-on. Which doesn't work the same way. Close.
There are a lot of dairy alternatives that taste almost exactly the same. It's just it has monetary, you know, value that is a little excessive. Only get two Beldum. Oh, I'm not doing a living dex. I'm just completing the dex track. Just completing it. So I just need to get one. It's just with my current situation, it's not easy. Yeah, I know how to lock on. <laughs> I was just saying. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I was saying it's, it doesn't work the same way as Legend Arceus. It's it because Legend snaps on to the closest thing immediately. This game does not. I think what else I need um, inside. Like, Charge Stone Cave. It's like a third of the stuff that I have to get is inside the Charge Stone Cave. Okay. That's fine. Need a Spirit Tomb for the, my complete PLA decks. Wait, Chad, when, do you, when can you do the, the Daybreak DLC? Does it just beat the game? I guess not, right? You have to do like the full storyline. When I say beat the game, like you have to catch all 242? Or can you just be quirky and... Just go to a massive mass outbreak? Cause I mean, that'd be a crazy workaround then instead of getting the wisps. Interesting. Uh, I'm gonna go Charge Stone Cave. Yeah, I mean, that's that's a pretty easy workaround then. Boing. <laughs> I hear a little man meowing. He's hungry. Yeah, you can get Spirit Tomb in the Myrlands outbreaks. Look at that little Joltig. You do your thing, baby. I need to buy more balls, and I was worried about that because I was like, I don't think I have any money left. I didn't even spend like 100k. I have another like 250, I think. Ah! Uh, oh, I just did support. That's fine. Oh, by the way, I do have this video that I have planned for next month. I am just waiting to get the stuff to do it, which is really unfortunate. Um, also, slightly unrelated. Um. I want to buy a copy of Pokemon Crystal. Believe it or not, I don't own a copy of it. I own it on the virtual console. I don't own a physical copy of Crystal. Um, it's crazy how expensive it is. Like, it's just not even... It's not even worth it. I have a Japanese copy, which you can buy for about $20. But an English copy of it is like maybe 110 minimum. Yeah, I know it's a business expense, but it's more of the principle that that's just ridiculous to spend that much. Like that's, that is genuinely an absurd amount of money for a game that I really am. I just want, that was for my own personal thing. It's not even for a video. It was personally, I would just love to own a copy so I could play it in my free time. Seventy-four?
74. 74. Yeah, I looked. I think it was last night or the night before, and it was there. There were some sales that went for like one fifty. Not me. No, sir. <laughs> Looking for the Pokeball Plus with the Mew on it. Yeah. Good luck. Good luck. That is a a hot find. Yeah, because here's the thing: is I have I have red, blue. Yellow. I literally have every GBA game, or GB game, and GBA game, except for Crystal. I just never came across one. It is sad. I'm grateful I have multiple copies of Emerald. I would not be interested in buying one now. <clears throat> I forget how much it is, but I know that it's it's... Stupid, just dumb how expensive it is. And I really hope that one day they are added to virtual console of something on some console because. Can someone check like a sold eBay listing? Not like what they show when you just search it up, but like an actual sold listing, how much they go for. Because I believe that they're about like 180 to almost $200. For a game, that's not even rare. It is an unbelievably common game. <laughs> yeah, 160 to 200. Unfortunate. Gale of Darkness, yeah. So I really lucked out with that. I bought a copy of Gale of Darkness for, in 2020, like right at the beginning of the year, for... I actually bought it from GameStop, of all places. And it was, I believe, $70. And the copy I got, Chad, ooh, let me show you. Let me show you what I got in the mail. Actually, I bought three games. I bought three. Let me show you this copy. That is the cleanest copy of XD I have seen in my entire life. All the scratches are on the outside of the case. Right? I know there's no music. But additionally, I also bought this, which I believe is significantly more expensive right now. Or it's very, very, very close. It's a bonus disc where you get Jirachi. And then, also, a pretty decent copy of Coliseum. This is a much dustier case. You can kind of see it on the back, like at the bottom. But um, if I were to sell these three games, chat, it, it would be we'd be creeping close to five hundred dollars. Box? No box. Box is a, a hard video game to purchase. I think one time on eBay I saw a sealed copy of Pokemon Box. I think that's like genuinely like one of the worst copies to have because I don't really think anybody would buy that. You can sell my decent copy condition of XD with the case for 250. I mean, I don't, I don't know, but you could sell it for a lot, probably. <clears throat> I think they should just make a new Shadow Pokemon game. Just make it like these Pokemon games, except Shadow Pokemon.
Yeah, the UK version of, of Box is, is a lot more reasonable. It's still, like, not cheap, but it's, you know, it's like GameCube prices, which... If you've looked into that realm, you, you have a general idea of what first-party Nintendo GameCube games cost. <laughs> I couldn't tell if it was front or back. Guess the color, Chad. Guess the color. And win a free prize in chat. There is a correct answer, by the way. I know what it is. I'm seeing a lot of wrong answers. It's blue, chat. It's a blue mini orc. I thought Shields Down was just a visual thing. Yikes. It was so blue! Ah, <sighs> it was blue, guys, I promise. What's Mini Orr's catch rate? I actually might be able to check my decks and see what it wanted was. Yeah, yeah, I hear you. I thought that said 18. Oh, it was 18 for this one. I was like, there's no way. Mini or... Yeah, see? No. Oopsie. Jai, I love you and your content, but for someone who's so good at Pokemon, you're so bad at Pokemon at the same time. Because I let a Pokemon use Explosion? I feel like that's a little out of my control. I feel like I'm getting judged a little too hard, chat. Yeah, just wait till I Nuzlocke. You're gonna be impressed. You're gonna take that all back. You're gonna say, you know what, John? You're the GOAT. You're the GOAT gamer. You can play Pokemon better than anyone on Earth ever. Ever. On Earth. Earth! Little guy. Don't the school trainer school trainers have a Dialga? Let me tell you, chat, when I was streaming for Dylan, anytime we would go to a gym, I was playing with Rich. It, the Pokemon that we fought were just, it was all Dragon Rage Pokemon. Just one shot, everything. Did that ball just jump twice? Wait. Like, we went to, uh, to Berg's gym. And keep in mind, all of our encounters were just so bad. So bad. It was, it, like, just imagine just base stage Pokemon. We were getting, like, Petalil. We're getting Badoo. And maybe on a rare occasion we'll find something like an Electabuzz and we'll be like, okay, yeah, we can work with that, that'll be good. But one thing I'd like to note about streaming on Dylan's channel, and this is not at, of his fault at all, or really anybody's. Um, so his whole subathon is nuzlocking like every Pokemon game. And currently he's on, what, day 23, and he's going to go for the rest of the month. And 
He is known for like competitive stuff. A lot of his videos he does leads to like a competitive aspect where he either plays somebody else competitively or he like builds a team competitively. Which is, if you watch me at all, aside from when I'm doing the battle tower, that is almost non-existent. When I'm doing Nuzlocks, what is really the core of my Nuzlocks? It's not calculating strategy. It's just hanging out and having a good time. And I realized that although I was still like trying to like find methods to get through and, and make make uh, you know make some progress for Dylan. I was still trying to have fun. And I don't think his chat liked that. <laughs> I think they really just wanted to see somebody just beast through a Nuzlocke. <laughs> I was like, no guys, we may be six levels under leveled. We can do it. And we just get cooked. And they're like, there are people who are like, you should just stop Nuzlocking. <laughs> Which I know you guys tell me that. I understand that. You guys say it to me all the time. You're like, you're like, John, you're so bad at Nuzlocke. You're on what, what, like 76? Give it up. But I know deep down in your core, when you say that to me, you love it. You love that trainer school. Don't even front. But I knew that they didn't know me, so they meant it. And I was like, whoa. Because here's the thing, I don't think Dylan's ever lost a Nuzlocke in his life, so it was pretty jarring to see a man lose seven across five hours. And I would also like to note, Dylan, Dylan's a little bit of a cheater. Because they have a clause that I didn't even know existed. I died to a Pokemon and they said, oh, that's Dragon Rage Clause. I was like, what is that? Like, if you get hit by Dragon Rage, it doesn't count. And I was like, yes, it does. What do you mean? <laughs> of course that counts. <laughs> it's like, no, John, it's Dragon Rage Claws. You're fine. I was like, no, chat, not in my home. Not in my home. <laughs> We're playing with Peapod today. Don't you dare blow up. It does make sense, but does it make it fun? You're gonna blow up, aren't you? Oh, fun. I have lived by this my entire time of streaming YouTube chat. It is way easier to be bad at something than to consistently have to be the best. And I pride myself in being very bad at Nuzlocke. I don't want to be the very best, no. Now... I feel like you're just gonna hurt me. But what's that phrase? Different strokes for different folks? Those are different folks. You guys enjoy throw stone. Yeah, this also like reflects to my own personal thing because I don't I don't like using rare candies because I think it it just like takes away any of the middleman of like the process to success. Maybe that's my years of grinding Pokemon levels speaking out as well. Chat, guess the color! Quick! Quick! This one? It's yellow. <laughs> I mean you got it right. You guys at least got it right. Good guess. Syndicate Slayer. Hello, game with smile. Hi, smile. Thanks for the 25 months.
Galvantula, that'd be cool if I needed it. Electabuzz, that'd be cool if I needed it. <gasps> now we have Tynamo. Am I missing anything else here? Hold on, let me think. Drillbur I have, Rotom I have. Joltik, Tynamo. No, I think that's everything in, in Charge Stone Cave. Obviously I had to evolve Pokemon, but I think we've already established that I'm doing that at some point. There are a lot of water encounters that I have to do that I'm not very excited about. Uh, actually, you know what? Let's go, in, let's go in order. We're going in order, baby. Yeah, Rotom? Yup. That I did. So, there should be a sand troop. Yeah, that's a good point. At the end of the day, Nuzlocke's are really just like, the basis, the, like the, the borderline of a Nuzlocke is Pokemon knocked out, Pokemon dead. You cannot use. Everything else? Yeah, everything, yeah, everything else is really just kind of like whatever you want it to be. Because OG Nuzlocke's, you could heal in battle, you could over level. I'm talking like 20, 2012, 2013, Nuzlocke. No, no shinies yet, but at least I fell, so that's pretty good. Yeah, baby, hacking. Uh, you know what, I'm gonna catch you. You could cheat like patters. I don't understand the context behind that. What did he do? Did he hack in his video game? I respect that. Honestly, I love him more after knowing that. What's sad though, um, about unrelated, it is like half related to patters. Uh, I was gonna go on a, uh, a cruise with Pat, like, a week from now, and I can't go. Pretty sure. I'm pretty sure I can't go. There were some uh, complications. Tried. Uh, I tried uh, filing for a passport, and I was not accepted. And it's a little too late to get that figured out. Yeah. Yeah, well, no, I, I I did prepare to get my passport and I went through the whole process of doing it and I gave them um I gave them my birth certificate and they said that it was not it they didn't accept my birth certificate. And so I have been filing to get a new one. It was the strangest scenario because I have used this birth certificate so many times in my life and they're like, yeah, we will not accept it. I was like, okay. Which really sucks because I paid a lot of money to go on this trip and it's I'm not going to be able to get a refund on any of it. So I'll lose probably about like $1,600. It is what it is. Not really much I can do. I could complain about it all day, but at the end of the day, that does not really solve the situation. So... Take it on the chin, move on. Happens. But I will cry. Best believe. At least I have a Ninja Creamy. Yeah, we're tapping into that today. We already did. But guess what? We will tonight, too. What is Kerbal's catch rate? It's like probably 500, 600? Maybe 10. I don't know. Indigo, thanks for the prime. I'll catch it now. Nothing's going well. It's all falling apart. Oh, sad day, sad gaming.
The more I do this, the more I remember how tedious the first one was. And it, it astounds me because I believe in the grand scheme of things, this is actually shorter than the than the first Professor Oak I did, but it's it is close to the same amount of Pokemon. And the only difference is that I don't have to really like grind Pokemon. I just need to level them up once. But the catch rate aspect of it has not changed at all. It is the exact same. Which favorite Pokemon Ash caught? Tauros number 14. That was a really cool one. Tauros 15 is a little too cocky for me. Just a little too braggadocious. Tauros number 14 and additionally 17, 12, and 6, I think. I always forget. They're a lot more mellow. Just catch crab? Got it. Hold on. <sighs> Thanks for stopping by, Storm. I appreciate it. But yeah, this this is like the downside to doing this challenge is that like there's nothing I can really do to increase my catch rate. I can keep damaging it, but I assumed that it was gonna be knocking me out. Also, I'm pretty sure extrasensory is gonna knock me out anyways. Or knock it out. Or I miss. Oh yeah, right, obedience. Okay, we're not gonna attack. You think you could beat a crab in a boxing match? Chad, if you physically cannot defeat a single crab in a fist-to-fist -fist combat, that's crazy. A crab. What's the largest animal you think you could win in a fight against? Crabs are insane. Crabs are this big, chat. I go step, we're done. Straight to the fryer. Human. It's, kangaroo is so wrong. Crabs are masters of psychological warfare. I'll remind him of all of his fallen comrades. I'll bring a t-shirt when I fight him that I'll wear that's covered in boiled crabs. Photos. That'd be kind of gross if I was just covered in boiled crabs. But you get what I'm saying. I'm just gonna leave and then try again. Because he's really... Oh, he's getting me mad. I don't think I could take any animal because I feel too bad of hurting them. What if it was like an evil worm? Like a really large evil worm and he stole your entire family. And you're forced for fist to fist combat with this giant worm. You just gonna let him take your family? Or are you gonna fight that worm? If he stole my family, I probably couldn't take him. That actually is a very valid point. He steals your entire family, like your whole bloodline. That is tough competition. Worms don't have hands. Um, this one does, and I also got hit with sheer cold. Thanks. Thanks, Snover. Really appreciate that one. That was a really kind thing of you. Trying to catch some little guys. The game is not letting me have it. Do not.
Can you do a Snover cry? Yeah. I can do a bomb sound too if you want. This is pain. I'm scared to catch Duraludon because I think that's a 30 catch rate. Ooh, he was cooking. Did you see that? He was like this. He's cooking up something good in the pot. Wow. I'm starting to think I just need to level up Breloom because this is like... They're so problematic. Why is everything on this mountain so mean? I was like one, I was one balling everything in Charge Stone Cave and now they're like, nah. Nah, that's okay. Should also invest in timer balls. It's the easiest game, Professor Oak. Let's go. Don't do it shiny. Stop! It's over! I did not raise you to act like this! I genuinely cannot believe this. This is crazy. It sucks because because Ultra Balls are not good, but it's like the backup to the backup to the backup to the backup of options. Okay, there's no way I cannot catch you from this range. Are you seeing this? Are you watching this live? What is going on? Okay, I'm leaving. I'm leaving. You actually, you actually drove me to not want to catch you. I will come back. I will simply come back and catch you another time. When it is nighttime and you are not mean! So mean and so rude. How can one little guy be that cruel? Snover is pooky, not even close. Poopy. Yeah, nighttime makes a huge difference in this challenge. And thankfully it's getting, nope, it's daytime. Um, yeah, like what can I use? Can't use repeat balls, nests don't work, luxury is just a Pokeball, dive is, um. Actually, I should be buying these. Dusk, quick, timer. Deck size, it's not a lot. <laughs> it's not a lot. However, 
Yeah. We only have 35 Pokemon, which I know it doesn't seem like that, but there are a lot of evolutions, so it's more so like... I would say about 90-ish. Maybe to, maybe 80. Blue Horror, thanks for the six. Prime. Game. Okay. Speaking my language. All right, I'm back. <laughs> Snuffer, I'm back, baby. I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. I was playing around. I was really in my emotions back there. Oh, he's gone. Yeah, he died. No! Uh, do I have you? No, I don't. Do not. Okay, that's fine. that on my list? It is. Because you can also get this in the canyon. Like, what? Why? Why? Why was Snover so difficult, but Golat's like, mm, okay, why not? I'm free this weekend. Yeah, no, I know. I know what antics you're up to. He looks so mad. What's that stare? He's like this. It's like a. Isn't it like a movie, like a horror movie stare that they do to make it look more intimidating? Kubrick stare. Kubrick stare. Kubrick cooming. Cooming. Come. Come stare. It's not nighttime, but it is for me. Go to bed. Bonk. Also, one thing you have to consider about this challenge is I am... The starters take up a very large portion of this part of the decks. So... You know, um... There aren't actually a lot of Pokemon to catch in the Indigo Disc that aren't starters. I'm not even happy I caught it. Not even a little. Duraludon. Duraludon's not gonna be fun. There's mass healing. It's actually Dupider pronounced. Brother, you are on the slowest. That chat, I believe, is a that is a record. That is a Johnstone channel record for the longest time frame to reply to to anything I've said on stream. I think I had that conversation with you guys maybe an hour and a half ago. <laughs> Brother is watching last year. That comment was from December 2023. Wait, did I ever catch you? No, I didn't. Sneaky. I'm a little sneaky guy. Gonna get Duraludon because I'm sneaky. Sneaky. Get him real good. Get him real good. Back strike, I got him. 
Wasn't our backstrike. We're dead. Give me any hints about big video. It's big. It's big, baby. Snover gave me so much trouble. So much trouble. So much on Geraldon. Mm, yeah, okay. Okay. I'll come along, guys. Don't worry. What is Duraludon's catch rate? It's 30, isn't it? It's 45. Even then, that's not really realistic. <laughs> what, is, what is Golat doing in the top right? He's just like, <laughs> Yo, when I see him, I'm gonna mess him up. What is this Pokemon? It doesn't have a name. What is this thing called? Never seen it before. Must be new! Must be new Gen 9 Pokemon. Snubble. Okay. You're doing all 400 Alchemies? That is way too many spins. <laughs> You've overspun your mix. I believe Alchemy's what, uh... 36? It's 63, actually? You know what's crazy is I made a video on that. I don't even remember that. To be fair, that was 2019, so, you know. It is what it is. Yeah, I really should have done that during the during the outbreak where it was stupid easy to get him. I believe I caught I want to say like seven of them, six or seven of them, but then stopped. Yay. Snubble. Okay, what are we missing here? It's like all water Pokemon. And Crabrawler. <laughs> Have many or Sinistee you can catch here? We really need to do that. We can go another place. Cottony. Where's co Oh yeah, right. I think where where you get that. Put the Pokedex up? No, because I would have to constantly change it every single encounter. Way too much. I give updates as I go along. Where? Ramble, I don't really need that. Where's Carbol? Oh. Ask and you receive. Can you do the bit where you have a picture of a shiny on screen and the chat freaks out? I don't think that really works in this current moment, <laughs> considering we just talked about it out loud. But don't worry, I'll I'll find I'll find a way. Uh, don't you worry. I'll find a time. I'll put it in there. You guys are gonna be like, what? No way. Guys. That's so sick. Look at that rare thing. Oh yeah, that's so cool. I'm not looking for one right now, by the way. Just want to clarify, in case you were wondering. 
What's he doing right now? Is he looking for one? Nope. No, I'm not. Don't even think about it. <laughs> nope. Not looking at anything right now, that's for sure. Ah, you can go to bed. Oh my god, what is that? What was that? What? On screen, Bone Man. That might be the rarest thing we've ever seen in chat. Oh, also there's a Belden behind us. We had to catch that. So strap in for the longest encounter of your life. Mod's predictions, under or over 40 hours to catch this. Me on the way to get my Ninja Creamy. Yep, that's real. Why am I levitating? Why am I dead? This is sad. This is unfortunate. How many tries did I predict? I said five. We're currently close. We're five away. Time a bowl. <laughs> this isn't a shiny challenge. Chad, not all my videos are related to shinies. I just did a video where I got a hundred shinies in this game. Not three days ago, chatters. Not three days ago. Crawler, please. I am begging you. In the ball. Why do you get shinies in videos when they're not? Why do I get shinies in my video when they're not? Am I dumb, chat? Brawler's so confused. He's like, get me out of here, bro. I can't answer it either. Yeah, I'm just gonna say, pretty sure, yeah. That's a great answer to most questions. You can just say, pretty sure, yeah. Because then you're, if, if you're wrong, you, you'd be like, well, I was pretty sure. This is so unrelated, but there is one thing I did. Uh, it was a like old social anxiety thing because I used to struggle to talk to people. And I just got better at it by just talking to more people. But like when I started out, if somebody said something to me, I would not ask, what did you say? I would just, I would be so anxious to ask them like, what they said. So I would just laugh. Which is terrible. And I skated by for so long because somebody would be like, What's up? like, <laughs> yeah. And then somebody told me something and I laughed and they said, that's not funny. <laughs> and that made everything so much worse internally for me. Because I would just laugh out of like, like an anxious, like, it's like, I don't know how to approach this situation. But somebody straight up called me out. They're like, I didn't even say anything funny. I was like, whoa. I was like, oh, I'm sorry. There's no, there's no thing I could say. I could, I could have been like, 
You can't just be like, I wasn't listening because I didn't hear what you said. Because that's just worse. <laughs> but you don't want to lie, but there's no answer that you can give them that would make them feel better in that moment. So you're just kind of like... <sighs> but now I'm on the flip side of it because I will ask people to repeat themselves so many times, you might think that I have a hearing problem. Like, what'd you say? What was that? One more time. I didn't mean to challenge. Don't, don't you j dare enter that link code in. What was that? Can't wait till I get older and go, huh? I haven't reached the age yet where I can do that. I, I need like 30, 35 more years before I can hit them with the, ah, uh, where, where is that? Smile. I'm doing it, guys. Pancake, thanks for the 23 months. That's almost two years. Two years of being a pancake. There's this one bell that I'm looking for. I'm dreading, I don't even want to catch it, to be honest with you. But it must be done. Going car shopping? How many are you buying? <laughs> I would buy one, that would be smart. If you see a Beldum, just say, hey, John, there's a Beldum over there. No, not over there, over there. No, I'll, I'll look. Over there? Okay. Wait, Chad, I think it's under. Underwear? <laughs> we got another one, chat. We did it. We did it. Round of applause. You guys all did great. You're great participants. Proud of you. Where is this Beldum? I do wonder how rare it is because I maybe I should have just caught it when I was fighting it before. I know they spawn here. A uh, hunted one. It was about a few minutes ago. That's true. I can just look for that one. All right, it's gone. I am so hungry, chat. I'm I'm so ready for some grub. Got a little something on the menu for today. An entire deer. That's the game plan. One whole deer. That or chicken thighs, I believe is what was this, the option. I have no deer. I have not even hunted in my life. So probably just gonna go and eat the chicken that's in my fridge. But you give me a bow and arrow, I'm going out there. Oh, no I'm not, I'm busy. I'm busy with this guy. 71, highest level encounter, gave it back shots, we're ready to catch it. Ball. Okay, note the time, I've been live for 6 hours 15 minutes. 6 hours 15 minutes. Let's see how long it takes to get this Pokemon. He's EP Jones. How long do you think it'll take to catch Belgium? That's a good question. It's really far away, so I don't... I don't plan on really doing that. Uh-oh. 
Are you going to keep this stream up? Chad, I have a VOD channel where I upload all of my streams. Johnstone VODs is the name of that VOD channel. Um, I'm gonna go for Mach Punch. It won't do that much. Yeah, I don't know why YouTube remove remove the related channels. That is a really strange feature. If you didn't know, they had a there was a feature at the end. It was like when you look at those top tabs on YouTube, it has like you know videos, posts, comments, whatever, and then it has like the about. Before about, they had one where you can see related channels and you can put down your channels, your friends' channels, your dog's channels. I think it covers them all, yeah. And they got rid of that. No idea why. You have to scroll below the videos to find it? Oh. How many speed that Breloom have? Nine? Oh, wait! I had a spore. Remove that, but added triple adds? I don't think that's true, chat. If it were triple adds, I'd be making triple dollars, and I assure you, I'm not making triple dollars. And even then, I wouldn't complain. <laughs> hey guys, thanks for watching the videos! Oh, I thought you were saying triple the ads than normal. Yeah, they, they've done that for years, chat. That's not new. Yeah, that's been around for probably like six years. See, here's the thing about ads on YouTube is that my my opinions on it are like, it's like 50-50. Because on, on one side of it, why do you keep waking up? Stop that. Bad. <sighs> this makes it so much harder. Now I can't put it to sleep. <laughs> you have nothing to put to sleep. Yeah, it's a it's a three catch rate. It's the same as a legendary. Um, here's the thing: is that obviously I want to be like, no, they should have ads because that's how I make money on my YouTube videos. But I understand ads are annoying. I'm not like above it, right? But I don't think YouTube really has that many ads. I think it's that awful. I think they're much worse ones. Like, for example, Amazon now has ads, even if you pay for Amazon Prime. You have to pay more money to stop the ads, which is also what Hulu did, because Hulu, you can pay for Hulu to watch TV, and then you get ads, but you can also pay for Hulu without ads to not get ads. And I think when you put it in perspective, for a free service, getting ads is not necessarily a bad thing. Netflix is doing that too. Netflix is should just stop making anything. What what is it at now? They up the price of Netflix like every quarter. It's now what like seventeen dollars a month for what?
<sighs> Missed when it was seven dollars <laughs> back in 2008. Thing is, streamers have just become TV with their ads. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, that streaming was an alternative to TV, and then it became TV. Because now there's like 15, 20 different things you can subscribe to to watch all the things that you want to. Please get in the bowl. Yeah, it is more expensive than TV to buy everything, but here's the worst part of it all. It's still better than cable TV. Nah, hasn't been 10 minutes yet. We're getting there, it's been seven. No. Which is crazy, that's how bad cable TV is. And I'm gonna be honest, like, there, when people have cable TV, it just blows my mind. Like, my, my parents have cable TV. And I convince, I try to convince them every single time, like, you don't need it. You don't. Like, I'm like, what do you watch? They're like, the news. I'm like, you have the internet. Next. So like, we watch, uh, sports. Like, cool, buy a package for that. Just buy, you just buy it per season. For like NFL, that they have like packages. Which, if you don't know about that, I know this is like kind of going against my logic. But NFL, if I'm not mistaken, for like any sports, you can only subscribe to seasons of a specific sports team. Is that right? I feel like I looked it up one time for my parents, and you can, like, my stepdad wants to watch the Patriots, and he can only, you can subscribe to multiple, but you have to pay to watch an entire season for a completely different team, which is crazy. So if you want to watch everything, yeah, I guess they do probably have a package for everything. NFL Game Pass lets me watch any and every team. Alright, never mind then. Never mind. I swore at one point they had it that way though. But that's way better then. What's NFL? No freaking liars. It's a TV show, so basically it it's like it's kind of a dumb concept, but it makes more sense when you watch it. Somebody says a lie. It's like two truths and a lie, basically. So you just don't lie. Or your lie has to be really convincing. But they wear helmets and hold the ball and run. Timer has the best multiplier right now, right? Spend 20 turns. Or is it 10? Yeah, I don't know. It's definitely not 5. Oh, it's been three times this has happened. That's so frustrating. Yeah, it's been 10 minutes. This is Pokemon gameplay. There's a lot of factors why this is not working out in my favor, chat, so it's not surprising to me. It's just very disappointing. <laughs> 
Considering I didn't save before this battle, so I'm just wasting, and I have auto save on. So there's no, like if I leave the battle, it will not make any difference whatsoever. Except save the balls I currently have. But if I leave to go heal my Pokemon, I can't find Beldum, so I have to run around to find another one. Okay. <laughs> that was 14 minutes. Almost 15. Jeez! Yeah, I had to just really narrate. Just had to drive the point home. <laughs> just to ensure, I'm saving. Axew. Where do I get Axew? It's like over here, isn't it? I think about it. That is one Pokemon I didn't get in the, uh, my video. Oh yeah, I don't heal here. I think so, at least. Let me see. That's Chespin. Axew. Yep. Is it cave? Pretty sure it's a cave spawn. Wait, spawns in prairie? Oh, right. Yeah, it, it does. I, I mean, I can try and find it over here, but yeah, the nature preserve. That's true. Do have the whole Haxorus. <sighs> <sighs> E.P. Jones is back in town, everybody. Um, yeah, so there's a cave apparently in this location. Why not? Like I said, my uh, my sleepy schedule is cooked. Um, okay, let's go this way. EP is for the week. That's why it's a Wednesday. It's the time to be EP. We're up on the weekends. We're partying. We're going crazy. But for the five days of the week, bed. It's Tuesday. I don't really get into politics, you know, chat. Hey, bud, you okay down there? No, he's sick. You can just tell. <laughs> Isn't there a... Is it right here? Yeah, yeah, okay, this is probably where it is. Oh, I'm not catching you. I have no interest whatsoever. Yeah, maybe the nature reserve is the spot. Cause I thought that's where it would be, cause that's where uh Torchic is, I believe. Hmm. Yeah, most of the stuff I have left is water. So let's uh let's try and grab some of those. Or C, because I have seal already, I believe. Yep, I got seal. So there should be horses. Water-based horses. I do need you as well. I can't. Come on. Oh. That works. Wouldn't Metang be easier? I mean, like, yes, but not really. Not much easier. Oh, that's really, I don't like that. that. That made my eyes go, like, different directions. Did not like that. <laughs> ah! Stop. I'll catch him, don't worry. We're on slash in the water, right? So, obviously. Ball. Oh, 
Oh, clutch! That's actually insane. Does everyone get pre-tired for the next day? I feel like that sounds like you don't have enough vitamin C in your life. Need a little bit of sunlight. Cause here's the thing, chat. I used to be tired all the time. It wasn't a burn. Well, you need. I mean, like here's the thing. If you don't have vitamin D, you probably don't have vitamin C. Can I correct myself? Chat. I already get enough D without the sun. We don't have to worry, <laughs> we don't have to worry about that. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, I used to have, like, uh, I used to be sleepy every single day. Every day. Wake up, tired, instantly, within like an hour and a half. I thought, is it because I'm old? Am I an elderly being? No. Can I reach them from here? Oh. Clutch. Horse. Oh. There is one interesting one that we have to get. Oh, maybe not. Never mind. I was thinking Quillfish was going to be a pain, but I don't think it will be. That's next on the list. Don't need Seedra. Am I breeding the Mons? No. Evolving. I mean, I can. I can breed. It's only I need to. Oh, Finny on. Finny on. Uh, 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 crime. <laughs> I just committed an in-game crime. I'm sorry, chat. I did not mean to do that. To be honest, breeding in this game is not fun. I really tried to to be optimistic about it. I'm like, no, maybe I'm just doing it wrong. The only fun aspect about it is that you can kind of like randomize the eggs that you get. Aside from that, it's it's genuinely probably the worst way. Am I doing a water battle encounter now? Am I on the water? Am I gonna die? Oh no, I'm just barely, barely there. And I get that they were trying to incorporate new things into the sandwiches, because I don't think the sandwiches are bad. I think sandwiches are, are like a quirky little fun thing. It's a little inconvenient, I'm not gonna lie. That's not the worst, right? The breeding, if you want a Masuda method hunt, it's like this is the worst game to do it in. It's just not fun. It's The eggs hatch really fast. It's more of the waiting you have to do to get eggs. Rich, stop that. And I wasn't even invited. He thinks he's so cool. Oh, um, yum. Special attack. Defense, close. It was gonna be one of them.
Um, you- we might be able to get to that area with the water, like, skipping. I have an alternate- like, an alternate idea that I think will work. What are we doing? But that is an opportunity- a, a possibility. The only thing is I- <sighs> It's a long distance, so I- probably not. But find out. Now that I think about it, it's probably not the worst method to get eggs. The one, the best by far. Like, all around every aspect is Sword and Shield. You can say what you want about Sword and Shield, you can say how much you don't like it. It is the best game. The best game to do Masuda Method Breeding. The only exception, or the, the second place, second place is Ultra Sun and Moon. Everything else, I don't even it, acknowledge. Oras, Oras is also kind of good. I think Sword and Shield is very overheated. The game does have sucky parts to it. But... Like, uh... The storyline's kind of hollow. The Pokemon selection is great. I feel like- I don't think there are any Pokemon games where the Pokemon selection isn't good. Like, all the Pokemon match the biomes that they're in and, you know, all that stuff. I think the storyline for that game has great pacing all the way up until, like... Winden. Then everything just crashes together. It's like, hey, let's, we have all these things that we built up in the storyline. We do not have the resources to get it done in time, so let's finish all of it right now. Like, one, one thing that kind of raised eyebrows for me is when you're climbing Rose Tower, there was just nothing. Hey, baby. There's just nothing. You just climb the tower, and that's it. And you see him there with Leon and they're like okay we're done with this I was like why would why did we even climb it what was the point couldn't we've just called him and be like hey can you come down like we don't have phones now in 2019 Dom I'm really passionate right now you caught me in a passionate hour thanks for the 46 months hey baby it's been about 12 minutes catching this quillfish it's gonna be really worth it in the long term And then what happened after that? What happened after the- Oh yeah, they're like, oh yeah, Rose is bad! Better go to Hammerlock! Go to Hammerlock? Okay, we're now ready for the climax of the film! And then you do that. And then everything just ends. No sort- yeah, really no background for Eternatus at all. They're like, yep, he's- He's here! We found him. Team Rainbow Rocket is best team. How? <laughs> they did nothing. <laughs> there was literally nothing that happened. Unless they were in the anime. I didn't watch it. Team Rainbow Rocket is just, is just Giovanni with a shirt, <laughs> with a new shirt. Alright, I'm gonna run, I'm gonna get another one. I 
I just liked assuming he was just gay in that one. Because I really don't understand what Rainbow Rocket was about. I really just missed... I guess I, guess I just wasn't reading. It must have been that, because that's all I took away from it. It's like, it's just Giovanni has a different shirt and he's going through time. Was it cool? Yeah. I'm not saying it wasn't. But it was just Team Rocket with a rainbow R instead of a red one. <laughs> but for absolutely zero dollars, they could have snuck in with this new multiverse power, I can take over the world. Also, I like men. And I really think that would have rounded out the storyline a lot better. Teach their own, you know, like I'm not a director. I don't I don't write storylines, but that truly I think would have made waves. But he is a son. Chat. Public service announcement. This this just in. Gay people cannot have children. Let, let the masses know. <laughs> let the people know, because this is going to be a hard-hitting piece of information to a lot of people. Alright, uh, let's use a quick ball, and this time, because we're prepared, this is the same quillfish, by the way, he's been waiting for us. We'll just catch it. Hey, I lied. I also thought that Rainbow Rocket was kind of short. The co the concept of Ram Team Rainbow Rocket is honestly so sick. It should have been a full game. Because here's the thing, I don't ever expect post-game stuff to ever be lengthy. I think that's just like a dumb mindset. You just expect it to be like two hours, right? Three hours if you're really just taking it all in. But for a concept as cool as that, I feel like that should have been saved for a different game. Which game is Ram uh, uh, Rainbow Rocket? That was Ultra Slam Moon. You basically just went to Luzamine's castle and just fought everyone. You fought like every single bad person for prior games. And it was a neat concept, but imagine they did that for one singular game. And you have to go around, rather than take on gym leaders, you're taking on them in different scenarios. I think that'd be a fantastic way to switch up the games. John, what do you think of Brazil? I believe it's a country. I have to look into that. It's also a capital. Yeah, capital B for Brazil. Yeah, I believe. Whenever I think of evil teams, I always think of how much I like Cyrus, and I always remember that he just dies in the anime. Straight up just, I mean, presumably dies in the anime. I guess he doesn't actually, but it, he, you know, if you don't know, spoilers. They make the void, like Giratina, I guess, makes the void or something. And he just, he, when he loses, he's like, I'm just going to go and jump in. And he just jumps into space. And I remember Mar- I think it was Mars who was trying to stop him from doing it, but like, no, don't do it! And Saturn, like, grabs her, and is like... <laughs> nah, we're good. Wait, hold on, which- which... Saturn... Saturn's? 
a guy? I always forget, like, I know, like, face-wise, I just don't know. Mars is a girl. Jupiter is a girl, which is Saturn would be the guy. Yeah, okay. I think it was something like that happened, but one, one of them was like, nah, it's okay. <laughs> you can't convince him, he is jumping into space. And it just ends with him going like this, arms out. Ah! I really thought Saturn was a girl because of coin. Well, here's the thing, is I thought Saturn was a girl for the longest time because of just the way he looks in the game. Like, pixely. It's, it's sometimes hard. Like, don't lie. You had that issue with Bugsy. You were a little unsure. You know, like, I don't know. I don't know. Could be a guy. Could be a girl. We're not sure. Especially in gold and silver. Yeah, Saturn is a guy. Don't worry, I found that out like three years ago. Four years ago. I've known it my whole life. Wow. A new record, chat. 46 minutes to catch a squillfish. We've done it. Somebody in my chat has got married, divorced, seven kids who've all gone through college. And came back to see me catch that quillfish. Okay, next is. Is my Numel? Numel is here? That might actually be an issue later. We'll have to figure that out. Oh, no, it won't. Never mind. I thought Numel only spawned at the top of the torchlight cavern thing, like that. that area that I flew over in my video, but it apparently does spawn closer to the beach, so that's fine. I should be talking. <laughs> Finneon I got. Tynamo I got. Uh, yeah. Smeargle. Blossel, Minin, Finneon, Beldum, Snover, Rotom, Drillbur, Enchino, Solosis. Deerling. Deerling. I caught Deerling, right? It took a while. I believe. Did I not catch Deerling? Oh. I didn't. Okay. Well, let's heal up. That was not that bad. Joel take a caught, Tynamo. Axew I didn't get, which, where else can I get it? Oh yeah, right, Nature Preserve, that's fine. Cubchoo, Golat, Cabrawler, Minior, Sinistee, which that's not even in the polar biome, but that I can, it's in the canyon biome. And then Duraludon, Milseri, and for some reason it also says I can get Cleaver in the polar biome, that's not true. I did do an encounter with a deerling, I just didn't catch it. <laughs> so, I'll get that. Let's go right here. Quick catch. That urge didn't write it down, but I, I, you know, I can quickly check that. Sawsbuck. Do you seal cry? Let me try. Seal. <laughs> Where are you, dearling? Oh, there you are. I already caught you, I just didn't write it down. Okay, good to know. <laughs> That Pokemon has been lost to time, Chad. I did not write it down, so I did not capture it. The challenge cannot be completed, for I have not 
noted it. Well, with that done, chat. Hold on, let me get this bell. Please let me leave. I'm begging you. Okay, let's go here. So, with all of that completed, I've caught everything that's in the savanna as well as in the polar biome, which there are maybe a couple of them that I left out, but for the most part, I did catch everything. I will note, the Pokedex total is going to be very underwhelming. But let me preface by saying, although our total is 45, <laughs> all of the Pokemon I caught evolve at least one time. And because all I have to do is give them a candy, uh, this is probably about 90 to 110 Pokedex entries that I have. Some of them are a little more difficult than others. Yeah, poor um, but also, I'm, we're going to do a little thing where we grind out against Chanseys, and these should all level up insanely fast. Like, it will take, to get all these Pokemon done, 20 minutes, 30 minutes, you know? We have a lot of waiting time for them to all evolve. But, um, for the most part, not too bad. We do still have to do the canyon and the coastal biome, but I think I'm going to save that for tomorrow because a lot of today, unfortunately, was just doing the intro of the storyline, which took about two hours, which is way too much. However, that's the game plan for tomorrow is we're going to catch all of those and we're just going to level up everything. And realistically, we should have everything caught that you can catch on one copy of the game tomorrow. Um in just this game for clarification we also do have to do um kitakami but kitakami is going to be probably easier because there's no restrictions we just walk around wherever we want to go and we'll be able to do it so um it's pretty much the the game plan but yeah i think that's gonna do it for me today find somebody to raid see who's live on the web on the internet, on the web. Um, I don't really see anybody online. Nobody streams anymore. This is so sad. Who is live? I don't know, chat. I don't see anybody live. All right. I am the only streamer on Twitch. That is true. All right, I'm just going to raid myself. Thanks for stopping by, guys. I'll catch you guys tomorrow. I'll probably be live like 12. 12. 12.30. Yeah, that's going to do it for today. See you guys tomorrow.